We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! Jesus. You said it, man. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the holiday season. Hey, Pixel Pia, how you doing? Oh, she's getting ready. What's up, everybody in chat? Hey, Ganna. Hey, uh, Wes, how you, how you doing? How you doing? Hi, What's I'm up, good. Adam? I'm tired. I feel you. I've been up since 3.30. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired from Rough. sleeping too much. Yeah, it sucks that you're sick. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. It's a rough, rough time. Oh. All the usual suspects are here. All Bring the best people. Christmas I love lights. you all. It's Christmas time. I figured it was time for a uh, a reindeer fish to shock Santa until he puked up jingle bells. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. I dig the lamp. Very nice. Yeah. A little Christmas feeling. Yeah. I like the holiday seasons. I actually put up a Christmas tree this year, a full size one, not the Charlie Brown kind. Oh boy. Yes. Yes, Wes. I uh I get up at three thirty because uh on Thursdays, Fridays and Sundays I train hit a high interval a high intensity interval training at a gym down the street. And you gotta get up there pretty early to set the gym up for the workout schedule. I usually run a mile before I even go too. So, what do you think of that? <laughs> so, what's new, guys? How was everybody's Thanksgiving? Fantastic, I hope. Were you sick over Thanksgiving, Pia? No, I got sick this Monday night. Oh man! Yeah, I got to bed eleven o'clock. On Monday night, and I slept until all of Tuesday, all of Wednesday. I was just up going to the bathroom, taking aspirin, and back to bed. Oof, that sucks. Yeah. So. All right, Gana might join us in a couple minutes. Oh, great. Wes had a lot of turkey. That's fantastic. I, I didn't get to cook shit. I had to go to a restaurant. <laughs> I made a Swedish lasagna for hell for Halloween. Listen to me for Thanksgiving. It should be Halloween all year round. Yeah, <laughs> I would love that. That's the only holiday. No, I like Christmas. Yeah, Christmas is fun. Yeah. Tomorrow we're going to Philly to the old Swedes church to see Santa Lucia. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's a Swedish tradition. It's really on December 13th. And we have Lucia processions in every school, every city, everywhere. And they do a really nice Lucia in Old Swedes Church in Philly. So we, we cool. went last year and we're going tomorrow again. You should visit Wesley, man. He's in Philly. I know. Everybody's eating turkey, and now everybody's going to be thinking about Christmas ham. <laughs> We're actually we going down to Florida for our Christmas. Very nice, man. Very nice. We're going to go down for three weeks. Is that because you sold your house? or No. I wish... <laughs> And we would have gone permanently. Right. Yeah. No, not Man. yet. I hear you. It'll happen. It'll happen. Have faith. Yeah, now is not the time to sell. I mean, no, I nobody not. is buying before Christmas. So. Not a real estate agent, but I work with a whole lot of them. And down here in South Florida, it's real easy to sell stuff. Oh, I mean, when we were down looking for houses, me and my other sister-in-law, we uh, went, we stayed in Biloxi because she got a free trip to the casino there and free hotel and everything. So we stayed there and we drove over on Saturday and 
the realtor took us to, I think, six or seven houses. And none of them would work for us. We need something very specific with my other sister-in-law. And it must be work. So we have one part and the other part of the family has the other part. But most of the houses we looked at that they were gone the day after. It was crazy. Oh, man, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not hard to sell a house down here. No. And then he called us on Sunday and we were like, oh, should we really drive two and a half hours again from Biloxi to look at the house? And he only had one. But he had learned exactly what we needed. So he said, you should come because this is perfect for you. And it was. It was like it's made for us. Because it has That's awesome. a big master suite on the first floor with a ramp up to the house. So it was set up for me and my handicapped sister. And they, my other sister, they have the upstairs with the second master uh, suite. And then it had a attached apartment, studio apartment for my niece. So it was just made right for us. It's perfect. Someone's pissed. Hey, Tenchi. Welcome to the party, man. I hope you got your Christmas gear on. It's going to be Christmas for the next couple weeks up in here. Yeah. <laughs> I need to decorate uh, the Miscast logo with like some Christmassy stuff. Yeah. Maybe like make it snow or something. Like I had the spiders walking across the screen in, on Halloween. Maybe I can like make it snow in front of the screen. <laughs> I was thinking of decorating my Ghana art, but all I did, I had to change my schedule for December because I'm so far behind and I'm still not ready to start filming. So I skipped my Fridays in, in December. So I just made the little cancel stamp and put over Fridays on my oh, no. logo. I've been slacking so bad. I'm checking everybody's vids out. I've been so busy. Well, I was out of town for a week. And then I've been so freaking busy lately trying to catch up. I got to go over to your channel and binge it. I've got like at least 13 channels I've got to go binge at least thir three or four videos on. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to keep up, but you can never keep up enough. No, nah, you can't. We know too many people. Yeah. We know too many tubers, man. All we know is tubers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's a sad reality. <laughs> oh. What's going on, Tenshi? What you up to? What's up? Wes and Adam seems to be watching Rogue One and get ready for Rise of Skywalker, which is in like two freaking weeks or less, right? It's two, yeah, two weeks from today. Holy crap! Another thing to put on the to do list, yeah, tuber, tuber, yeah. <laughs> Waiting to get some footage. Got to edit a wedding. Oh, God. Hmm. I can't. I can't handle weddings anymore, man. <laughs> I just can't. I, it's too much shit. I, and there's too much bullshit involved. Like, the last wedding I did was for... Um, oh, geez, it was like an Indian wedding. And the girl was awesome, but the guy was such a dick. Mm. Like nothing was right. Everything sucked. She loved everything. He hated everything. And at that moment I was like, that's it. I'm done. I can't. It's too much stress, man. It's not worth it. It pays good though. Mm, I know that's my, sure. my husband used to do weddings when he was like, yeah, it was like 18 hours, man. It was one like where they carried her around. They carried both of them around in a chair. Yeah. It might have been like an Arabic wedding. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It was like, I think it was Indian. I'm pretty sure it was Indian. They had henta on the, on the hands and stuff. Hey, what's up, DJ? How's it going? I ain't seen any of you guys in such a long time. Well, except for like Frank's place. I went once. Uh, in Sweden, I worked at, we have, the state has the liquor stores in Sweden, and I worked there. And we had, where I worked, we had some uh, Romani families, and he, the head of the Romani family, was marrying his oldest daughter. 
So he came in and he bought all the liquor from us and invited all the staff. And their wedding was for a week, seven days. They celebrated wedding. And there were Romani from That's all over insane. Sweden came to this wedding. It was giant. I mean, but it was an experience to go. Yeah, I can imagine. I, You know, shooting that wedding that I shot you know, for the Indian people was, was really a pain in the ass, but the wedding itself was really cool. Like it was fun to see and super cool how they did stuff. There was like a lot of traditions that were mixed into it that from all over the place. It's pretty fascinating. Hi DJ. He's chilling. Oh, you missed his last video. Then I guess miscast DJ, I DJ, no pants. See... What did he say? He had no pants. Why am I not seeing this? Oh yeah, Ganna, you need a meeting code. Um, let me. Uh, I send it to her. Okay. Once. I had a guy calling in last show two weeks ago, and he was yelling epithets, and he kept stealing your guys' names, so I couldn't tell if you guys were calling in or him, and it sucked. Why am I not seeing the pants tweet? Or I mean, uh, comment. Oh, wait. I can't send it there. I totally five, says Gana. <laughs> Understand. <laughs> yeah, that kind of shot the call in, um, you know, without a code to hell. Freaking douche nuggets so yeah I uh, wanted to see DJ's video on Dragon Prince season 3 but I didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing so I didn't want it to get spoiled I was afraid to watch it so <laughs> okay. as soon as I finish that I'll, Can I'll I it sent up. it on Twitter to you says her phone is a piece of shit. All right. So Santa seems to be like an endless supply of jingle bells. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what else is going on, everybody, in the chat? How are you gonna watch the Rogue One to get ready for Rise of Skywalker? Yes, Wes, I do do drone work. In fact, I do a lot of that lately for the city. Like we had this hurricane come down not too long ago, and they had me like literally map the entire city of Oakland Park from the air with my drone. It took like three days and all day, every day. Like I had to charge my batteries in the car while I'm flying. It was crazy. And, uh, yeah, I love doing stuff with my drone. I still have the original Mavic Pro. Um, I haven't upgraded to the to the Mavic Pro 2 or the Mavic 2 Pro. I really want to, but I really don't see the need to, like, spend the, the ducats right now because my Mav's still working just fine. I would love to have a drone, but I don't know what I would use it for in my videos. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> you could find something cool to do with it, though. Maybe you could, like, fly over some schools and use it as B roll. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I love my little Mavic, man. It's awesome. Um, got a license for it and everything from the FAA. Someone calling in. The screen's gone dark. What's going on? Oh, there she is. Hello. Hi, Gana. Are we going to get to see like actual milked pigeons now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she hears us. Oh, do you hear us? Uh, I can't hear you guys. Oh, we hear you. We hear you. Um, 
I love Zoom. Oh, there Zoom you are. and its audio is like you got an that? epic problem. I got it. <laughs> you got it? I got All it. Right. Sorry about that. It's not you. It's Zoom, man. Zoom has an audio issue like constantly. Like every, Even on uh, Jim's show, everybody calls in. It's like, I can't figure the audio out. <laughs> like, <laughs> it throws you for a loop sometimes. It does. It does it to me too, like very randomly. <laughs> How's it going, Gana? What's what you been up to? Uh... <laughs> here's here's my hus my husband. Is that the Witcher? <laughs> <laughs> Geralt. <laughs> oh, I love Geralt. <laughs> it's a full size awesome. body pillow. So I mean Oh shit. <laughs> Uh, I don't even want that, that pillow. Does it need to be washed like daily? <laughs> you know, I never use it, but it's really that's a great freeze frame too, to be, to be cut out on <laughs> there, there you're back. <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> I got I just got to keep a good pose. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now freeze. Now freeze. Freeze. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Do it now. That's that's your Santa. <laughs> My Santa. Her secret Santa. Well, not it's anymore. Not, it's not a secret. I made a video <laughs> about him a while back, so you no, know, it's cool. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the pigeons, man. I thought you were gonna do like a rendition of those pigeons. Oh God, you know. Oh, I know what I have to do. Uh oh. I honestly did. I was so excited. <laughs> I, I've got I so posts. many things. I, I believe it. The potato video. I haven't even. I never even got yet potato. I never even had a chance to shoot it. I know. I only had seven people so, that gave me videos, but it still was seven people. Too, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. There we go. Um, I put my peaches in the chat. Yeah, peaches. <laughs> peaches. That's Pia's new. Why am I not um, seeing anybody? She's a fruit emoji now. Like I'm a banana, she's a peach. I'm not seeing anybody in the chat that you guys are talking about. And some of DJ's comments aren't coming through. Do you have top chat? Or do you have... Oh, man. Oh, I hate that. What did Why you do? Why does it do that? I, I just put it on live chat. Mm-hmm. Still don't see peaches. Uh, Wes, I don't know if this is true because I've been thinking about getting one, but someone told me that you can't put drone videos on YouTube unless you have a license because that's considered commercial. That is only if you put um, a drone video. It has to be paid work. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I see drone videos constantly on YouTube just as videos themselves. But if you fly a drone and get paid like a job, then yes, you need an FAA license. Uh, you need a, a remote pilot license. It's a test you take at the airport in like a hangar. And it costs some money. And you get timed and you get watched. They take all your shit out of your pockets and they check your hat and everything, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> It's like about an hour and a half test. It's worth it though, dude. It's a cool license to pull out, man. Because it's basically the written test for a fixed wing aircraft like a Cessna. With some drone stuff sprinkled in there. Because they really don't have a, a drone test. So they just gave you like the... They give you the fixed wing aircraft test. With a few drone questions in there. So if you put in the, the, the 4,000 hours in the cockpit after that test, you get an actual pilot license. So it's kind of cool to do it. I, I sent the uh, code to DJ. Right on. Let's see if he comes on short list again. <laughs> Tenchi's cooking breakfast and listening to us. Hey, nice. Tenchi. 
Nice to see you and again. And I watched that video with the bananas that you put out, and I was like, I don't know that I want to like use the bananas anymore. Was that true? Did you not? <laughs> like, I, it was so serious. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Did someone like abuse you? I <laughs> love. No, it. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't the banana thing. I've just been getting a lot of um, inappropriate comments. Oh man. And I, I really try to look respectable when I'm on camera. Like, I don't walk around asking for attention. And when I get it... You don't it, even walk, usually. <laughs> I don't. I'm usually sitting down. <laughs> yeah. But wow. yeah, that's just... Kind of I annoying. I can't believe it. The nicest people get the worst shit, mm -hmm. man. That's just the way it goes. I don't know what the hell the deal is. People feel like they're powerful over nice people. Or they take advantage. Yeah, they do. Don't let them get to you, Ghana. You know your worth. Yeah. Don't don't let them get to you. Pass I'm protect so everybody. <laughs> I've had such a crap day today. I think I look like I've been crying. I have been crying. Let me clarify that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm sorry. That's sad. And, and Don't let things really get to you, Ghana. You know you're doing the right thing. thing. We all love you here. You're in you're in a good warm place, even though it's snowing. And you have your body pillow. I do. And you have Gerald. <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know how to think about that. <laughs> Uh, I need a laugh. I needed friends. Yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, Wes, it was like 250 bucks to take. It wasn't, wasn't so bad. But if you fail it, it's 250 bucks again, so don't fail it. <laughs> well, if it was 250 in Florida, it's probably 500 here. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a state. Well, no, it's the Federal Aviation Administration, so no, it, it's, it's not state to state. Wait, mm -hmm. let me go close the door after the dog here. <laughs> right on. P is awesome. <laughs> yeah, P is great. She, her Lay and Bill Ware here. put this whole thing together for Danny. It's called the Mickathon 2019. Uh. <laughs> it's going to be madness, man. <laughs> this, like... What is it? Four or five days? Yeah, four and a half days of streaming. Oh. DJ oh, is entered the room. Hello, DJ. Oh, there's my lovely ball friend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, DJ? Hey. How's it going? Going good. How you doing? Doing good. You got your clothes on today? Yes. <laughs> you have a Gerald's pillow as well. <laughs> yeah. Come on. There he is. Creeping into the frame. <laughs> he looks so pissed off, though. <laughs> He's like, I don't, I don't know what that look is. <laughs> it's his O face. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so serious. Ugh. He is very serious. I only got like halfway through the first book and he, he's not made one smile in, in any of the pages. So. Oh no, I'm replaying the game for the second time. Ugh. I was thinking about making a video on it, like a let's play. Oh yeah, do it. that would be awesome. In a better mood. Oh yeah. What can we do kind to cheer you up, Hannah? I don't know. <laughs> Should Get I take my pants off? off? That'll do it. Yes. <laughs> no pants party. <laughs> no, I'm too cold. I agree. I'm really but cold I'm, too. And yeah, I did have pants on in that video. <laughs> I can't hear you. I the video I put out today. I, I was wearing pants. 
I will. He had on the pants. He put on pants just for you, Pia. Good on you, man. Good on you. Ah. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yep, got to keep the, the family jewels warm. <laughs> Unless you're Frank, Frank in the Windy City. Yeah, a little cool yeah, yeah. Down under the mountain. Was, <laughs> oh man, it's been a long freaking day. How's your day been, Will? I uh, I trained from four thirty to like noon. Mm. Mm. And felt like a building dropped on my face. It's intense. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You got to do like every class. You got to do the warm up and all a lot of the exercises and stuff like yeah. every single time. So you're constantly working out like basically. How many day. how many classes do you have in a day? I'm like still training to be a trainer at the gym. So. Um. I'm supposed to probably have like maybe just a few classes a day, but right now I'm trying to get in as many as I can. I'm trying to shift my schedule around so I can spend more time there. And uh, yeah, it's, just, it's brutal, but it's awesome. I love it. It's a great people there too, you know, like the gym community in these hit gyms is like not the same as like a regular gym. They're like, they're like family. Everybody knows everybody, even though there's like hundreds of people. Everybody's super positive, so it's like mm. super uplifting. I like the gym and, community. Uh, cool. Yeah, you, you're you're around the gym community, like doing yoga, right? Mm -hmm. I just go to all a boring gym just to move, but I haven't been there all week. Well, I've been sleeping half of the week, so I need <laughs> to get back into the gym. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> I took a week off for. Thanksgiving and it felt like a month. I went back to the gym a couple days ago. My freaking legs are so sore. I haven't been in like a month and then I haven't before that it was a month or two. Ugh. You're gonna feel it man. I'm just I'm missing about it and I feel it. <laughs> I'm missing our pool. We used to go in the pool every day for an hour and do water aerobics. And that's so nice, especially when you get to my age. It doesn't put so much strength on your joints and your. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Water exercises are super good for your joints, mm -hmm. man. Um, swimming is all, a total body exercise too, so it's great. Yeah, definitely. I miss that, but it's too cold to swim here now. They just put an indoor gym, uh, indoor gym, indoor pool at my gym. <laughs> Um, mm. I should go use it along with the sauna. Mm. I love the oh, sauna. Yeah. I... Nice. You're in a desert. <laughs> you need the moisture. I do. <laughs> 180 degrees, 20 minutes. I'm good. Outside's you nothing. Go in the sauna and absorb it. Yeah. <laughs> My daily dose. Mm. Oh, I <laughs> love the sauna. Oh, I do too. <laughs> Yeah, it's something awesome about like sitting in that. It's like no. you can meditate. Like you have to kind of be in your own head because it's so freaking hot. Mm -hmm. But you leave and you're just like reborn. You've had an otherworldly experience. <laughs> Especially True. if it's a real wood fired sauna where you can throw water on the stones and get all that steam and oh yeah the ones so at my gym good. they're dry saunas they're just hot <laughs> yeah but it's still nice yeah that's that's the good kind it's a nice head changer you can control the temperature though right you can but i don't <laughs> yeah. maybe i'll do that tonight i'll go to the gym and i'll go get in the sauna for like 20 minutes that might help nice Nice. Mm. Very, very nice. Very nice. I don't feel like working out, that's for sure. But I'll go when you don't work out box. for like a couple of weeks, getting back into it, your body like is already acclimating to like all the nasty shit. So it's going to hurt. Most people I'm don't okay. make it past like the first week. Yeah. Mm. I love working out. I really do. I miss it. Oh, yeah. 
Wes is asking, how, how do you do it? Do you drink coffee or energy drinks? And I'm going to say, no, I run a mile before I start working. <laughs> I do both. And that gets my endorphins going. And I'm ready to rock. <laughs> and I do have a cup of coffee, but I don't really need the coffee. I just, I'm addicted to coffee. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, now, I, now I have to get some coffee. Sorry. <laughs> Good. Nice. I got the worst coffee. I went to Dutch Brothers today. I'm just having an off day. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's Dutch sorry. Brothers though? Uh, well, it's like a dessert coffee. You don't have Dutch Brothers where oh, you're at? Sh no. 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 We have Einstein Brothers. No. Not the same. <coughs> they have really potent Not coffee, but it's very sweet. <laughs> oh. Mm. No. Like this is like macadamia. I grind milk. my own coffee. Coffee. I usually go to like um, the fresh market and get like the beans and then just grind it. So it's nice. That's and the way to go. Yeah, man. Yeah. French press it. Good to go. Yeah, I I like the taste of coffee, you know? I don't you could even I do be decaf too. and I would still drink the shit out of it, you know? No decaf. I I can taste decaf. <laughs> well you don't sleep though. So <laughs> I don't <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You never sleep. <laughs> it's true. It is true. I think I'm always on something. <laughs> All the Every time. time I go anywhere, no matter what time of you're <laughs> We're on Frank's thing. It's like six o'clock in the morning for you, like on the nose. <laughs> That's madness. It's true. I was in Jimmy's stream, Jimmy C's stream. Oh, I need to go He had like a nine-hour stream. Holy shit! Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's freaking crazy. Holy shit! I couldn't do it, man. <laughs> Tenchi's mm -mm. wishing you a better day, Gana. Thank you, Tenchi. And he doesn't drink coffee due to anxiety. I have anxiety too, but it's worse if I don't have coffee. You're like, but you said that like a true addict. <laughs> but, but <laughs> it's like smoking. It gives me like, hypertension, but <laughs> I vape. But if I stop vape, I get anxiety. So it's like it's a vicious cycle. You vape. I do. Just not on camera. I've been doing it this whole time. I didn't know that. Well, you never do it on camera, so how the hell would I know? Oh, you're vaping right now? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is that like real tobacco <laughs> or wacky tobacco? No, it's just nicotine. It's a uh, pink lemonade nicotine. I do it all the time. I'm just discreet. You're like a freaking ninja. I am. Now that you know, Can't you'll notice shit. it more often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Wes, how do you survive long days like that? Um, it's all in your head, dude. <laughs> it's all in your head. <laughs> Eat a good meal before you go to bed. Because what they say about eating before you go to bed is bullshit. You should eat whenever you want, just as long as you get your calories in. So. food so what's up dj man what have you been doing i haven't seen you around lately no, I think no, you're a little bit like me i'm i'm, I'm getting ready to end this season of my videos next week gonna take a break from posting on YouTube until the new year. You deserve it, dude. You post every freaking day. You're a madman. Yep. Crazy. I don't even know where you find those programs. Like, at least 20% of them I've never even heard of. Yeah, well... I mean... Most of them I have watched when I was younger. And I mean, just to say it, I'm like 40 years younger than you, so those 
easy for me to find a little old guy like yourself. Well, at least you still have some good vigor left. <laughs> Dude, you never sleep either, I imagine, posting every day. There are literally oh. bananas all over this chat. <laughs> Damn straight. It's, it's banana, banana fest. <laughs> yeah, but when you put on that world, I upload every night around 10 sorry, <laughs> depending on how long. It takes, um, you didn't bet around 12, so we won a, um, so. Jeez. <laughs> Crazy man. Crazy man. I dig your freaking little setup there, Piets. It's really nice. This. It was. Yep. <laughs> Six dollars. Really? Very fancy. From ShopRite. Oh, nice. It's a little battery thing. It looks like something Gerald would carry around on one of his missions. That's right. Yeah. I thought it was cute. Since we're not decorating here, I thought I can have something when I make my videos in December. Right on. Yeah. Any, anybody got anything planned for soon? Or for soon? Soon? The next the next release? Oh, I have I had planned I have planned until January. I just need to get myself together so I can. Um, we go on tomorrow. So the the next video um. Put it out is a Christmas special from 1993 called The Town Santa Claus Forgot. Freaking 1993, I was, um, I was a senior in high school. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I was five. Yeah. You were five. <laughs> God, I was five in 1981. I was 35. <laughs> oh, wow. God. <laughs> and and DJ was sperm. Yep. <laughs> I I actually hope that I can film tomorrow night when we go to Santa Lucia in Old Swedes Church and do a little short thing on Friday with it because Friday is Lucia in Sweden. Nice. What happens on that day? Our Swedes are a little weird. We're celebrating the death of an Italian saint. I don't really? Know the death of what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you celebrate? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. My freaking house was making insane noises. The death of an Italian saint. Santa oh. Lucia. That's, I would say that's strange, but we we worship a, a Norwegian uh, saint with a beard. So. Yeah, but he wasn't a saint. <laughs> But she was. Well, they call him Saint Nicholas. So. Yeah, yeah, but Saint Nicholas is Russian. Oh, really? Yeah. Jeez. Nicholas. Yeah, that makes sense. You just crushed my my childhood dreams. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I, uh, Wes, I, I used to freelance. But now, last like year and a half, well, no, last year, I incorporated Miss Cass Entertainment, so I do all my work under that title. Doing business as William Davis Moore, though, so I don't bill myself as Miss Cass, but when <coughs> I file my taxes, it's Miss Cass. <coughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you laugh. I made $100 in t-shirt sales. In the last year, 
<laughs> oh, by the way, did you get my cup? Oh, yeah. Hang on, I'll grab it. Ooh. I would like to see it because I um, I made a new one when I sent it to you. Nice. Hang on, let me fill it up with some special eggnog. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> I never use mine, it's too small. Mm. Are they all in black? No, I made that the new one. I love this one. Let me see it. Oh, the the middle must be is it green? Oh yeah, it's getting it's like a greenish blue, but it, my green screen thing is is taking it out. Oh. Uh. <laughs> but it's super cool. It's a yeah. little sad, sad that the handle is white. How does the other side look? That's it. That side and I wonder who who made this design? It's really good. I wonder who. It's a really good design. It's super cool. I wish I knew the artist. Yeah. Well, wouldn't that be fun if we knew the artist? <laughs> yeah. For sure. I don't know if she hears that. <laughs> <laughs> or is, if she I just see eyebrows under hair, tufts of hair. <laughs> 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 Hey, look who it is. Joe, the Watchman Reviews, is in Hello. the house. Hey, Joe. Like, ooh, how festive. <laughs> and Wes is saying, uh, I'm thinking about officially starting an LLC instead of doing freelance next year. Dude, it's worth it. You get some protection if someone wants to come after you, and you actually get tax breaks. So I think you should do it. It's definitely something. If you do it enough, it's definitely something you should do. Dude, Joe, I've been trying to get to your channel, man. Like, I freaking miss your uh, your streams, dude. Like, I'm always in the gym at that time. It pisses me off. <coughs> I wish I could freaking, like, sometimes I, I'll, like, sneak away and, like, comment one comment and run on Facebook. But the last time you couldn't see the comments or something, so that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always a pleasure. You should call in, man. Yep. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm not throwing anything today. <laughs> <laughs> the last time he took us on the adventure tour it was fantastic. Yep. Yeah. I still have the drawings. Have you seen them, Ghana? No, I haven't. Guess who that is? <laughs> I forgot all about those man. And then we have <laughs> Danny with the dirty Sanchez and <laughs> the dirty Sanchez. <laughs> That one's actually not so bad. <laughs> no. one are you implying the others are? Well, <laughs> Danny's dirty Sanchez. <laughs> well, I'm going to stick to teaching and learning. <laughs> you should make posters. I love I'll buy yeah, one of your posters. Fantastic. <laughs> mm, nice. Oh, man. Joe, your stream was woeful. Zero viewers. What was on it, man? I, I have to go check it out. Like I was telling everybody earlier, I haven't been on like 13 people's channels in a long time. It's been a minute. I got to binge for an entire day one day. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's true, dude. It's true. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to jump like, off the I know of so here. many of you now. Like Keeping up is hard. <laughs> so many people. And we're always in these live streams. So the only time we have, we're all hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I was Tough. surprised. I actually went live. Thursday morning, though, I was so out of it. And we were eight, nine people 
How many were we gonna? There was a lot of people there. Yeah, you had like nine people. Yeah. Where was this? Yesterday. I was surprised. Day before. I'm gonna. Oh, Danny? I'm gonna jump off right now. I'm. I don't want to bring you guys down. <laughs> oh, you don't have to do that. It's no, fine. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna start crying. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Oh. Thanks, guys. Feel better, Gana. Mm -hmm. I'll try to. We love you. <laughs> Bye. 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 Love you. Ah. Oh. Oh. That's so sad. I'm so sorry for. Her. Uh huh. Mm. Oh, whatever send going her on, some bananas. Out. Yeah, everybody in the chat, send Gana some bananas and some hearts. <laughs> Come on, chat. Where is the bananas? <laughs> Mm. Oh man, that yep. makes me feel so bad. I wish we could do something for her. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Where is the heart? She's just not feeling good, Joe. I don't know what's going on, but uh, whatever it is, it's not cool. That's for sure. Makes me sad. I got watery eyes under these big, thick sunglasses. Well, you do have a hole. It's in there, man. It might be mostly black, but... There's a little bit of love in there. <laughs> yeah, she's Man. she's been a little roughed up by people, I know. That sucks, you know. People online really suck mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. I mean, last last show they hit my show. Apparently, they're hitting her videos. Um, YouTube's smoking everybody. Um, that's a lot of shit. Yeah, I did some more look into that with the copper deal. I don't even want to talk about copper, dude. <laughs> I'm so tired of copper, man. I, yeah, I know, can't handle it anymore. I know. I can't. I can't. Like in January, we'll we'll bring it up again. But right now, it's like just speculation. Uh, I'm burned out. Well, I like that Tenchi. Be the lotus in the muddy waters. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Oh, you know what? I forgot to give you a thumbs up. Shame on me. <laughs> hey, Aisha is in the house. What's up, girl? Hey, Aisha. Mm -hmm. Everybody's. Sending so much love to you, again, and We're really hoping that whatever's going on, you feel better. And if there's anything we can do to help, man, don't don't hesitate to reach out. You know, privately, we'll do everything we can. I'm sure everybody here is like has your back, <laughs> without a doubt. Yep. Except for that fish that's shocking Santa. I don't think he has anybody's back. He looks really mean. The sad part is, Gana, stop me if you don't want to say this. I won't say any names. But she was really trying to do a good thing for a fellow tuber that ended up in problem that has nothing to do with YouTube. And she got so much shit for it. For trying to be a good person and it's crazy. I mean it's crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, really. Mm. And I mean she's such a good soul. 
I know, like, yeah. she's literally one of the best of us as far as, like, positivity, happiness, like, art, like, I just don't understand how people can do bad things to people like Gana. It makes no sense to me. No. Absolutely none. Oh, I have to leave for a second. I hear my sister-in-law. Yes, wait. No problem. Right. It'll just be me and DJ and his balls. (laughs) Shut up. Danny Mick is in the house. Yo, Danny. Hello, y'all. Just popping in for a minute or two to say hello. Well, hello. Look at that. Now the chat's woken up. You just woke the chat up, Danny. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Artzilla comes in. Danny comes in. Now people are typing. Nice. So what have you been up to, Will? I was out of town for... Uh, yeah, see, even Joe's like, nice balls, DJ. <laughs> okay, okay. You will say it. Danny's drinking milk. Danny's drinking milk. Yeah, High alert. Right. Danny's drinking milk. <laughs> Look, but, here you go, Danny. Yeah, this for you. Well, I got something special for you, dude, since you're here. You'll love this. Oh, she tweeted me. There you go. Just for you, Danny. I changed Flash Gordon to a sailor. (laughs) Everybody's sending so much love to Gana. It's so awesome that you guys are doing that. Thank you so much. I I mean, this chat family, everybody in the in the YouTube community we're in in is so awesome and loving. So glad that you guys are like reaching out to her. It's great. Yeah. It's all community is on the one of the nicest communities I'm a part of. Yeah, it's awesome, man. It's really cool. Yeah. Tenshi's saying Danny reacts to milk spills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll snap that sexy sailor. <laughs> yes. He's there. With that ring. That's not his ring. <laughs> oh, I know. It's this guy's ring. I hear you, man. Like, everybody's kind of like, I think everybody's like little burned out still from last week and kind of just kind of in chill mode for like, the, you, get, you you always need like a vacation from the vacation. Yeah. You know, <laughs> a little bit. It takes a minute to get back into the swing of things. Like the first week back is always rough. Yeah. Yes. Danny, where are the kids, Danny? Where are the kids? Grandma, grandma has the kids, grandpa, one of the two, sis, brother. You didn't leave him with the cats, I hope. (laughs) (laughs) All right, it is time to put Aisha on in the background for her her, uh, weekly review. Where did I put her? There she is. This is Aisha's latest video, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you know it. Every week I play her latest. Yep. This is the latest by Artzilla Aisha, 1994. Watch as she creates an epic, epic rendition of awesomeness. Just our a two hundred dollar dinner with the wifey, stuffed like a pig. Oh, n- literally, a night out. I thought you guys were like gonna get a hotel room and bump nasties. Uh. 
Were you saying that to Danny Mick? He doesn't need any oh, more yeah, nasties. He has three. Hello. Hey. hey. Aisha. Hey, Aisha. Hey, everyone. Did you make it on the first try? Yeah, this yeah. Is wow, I'm so... Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? Oh, my really? God. I, I, so, I will tell you something interesting. Uh, today, my brother was uh, contacting the company for the Wi-Fi connection. And when he was talking about internet connection, I was telling myself, today the internet has to be good. The connection has to be good. And it happened. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Yes. No more no more madness. Yeah. <laughs> the battle is over. Much the war better. is won. Oh, it's fantastic. No. I love it. Now how everybody's got to take in. What's that? Uh, I, how are you all doing today? Good. Well, we're all over the place, actually. <laughs> yeah. It's a smorgasbord of uh, feelings and emotions and health and non-health and, you know, <laughs> normal. <laughs> you know smorgasbord is a Swedish word? Is it really? Yes, yeah, smorgasbord. You just imported it. Well, I like that word. <laughs> it aren't, uh, it, but is Swedish like the same as Norse? Like, do you guys speak the same kind of language? Yeah, or? Swedish and Norwegian is almost identical. So, aren't there a lot of English words then that are the same, like sky and the and no. Stuff like that. No, but this is directly imported. You just took away the dots over the O. We have yeah, three we, extra we, letters in. We stole it. <laughs> yep. That and let me see. There is another word um, that I can't remember now that you imported right from Swedish. But smorgasbord well, we is really a food table with like we have for christmas and stuff smorgasbord yeah that's what that's what we call or that's what we refer to when we say it like a big ass meal yeah. like a whole bunch of food nice uh what's going on over here man someone's laughing i seen that <laughs> one crazy video <laughs> We are at a hotel bumping ugly. Well, I'm <laughs> I'm feeling better, Danny, but I um, have no energy. Me too. Same here. <laughs> and it's crazy. I slept 50 hours straight. No, you know, with... I, I don't feel phys uh, physically uh, not energetic. I like, you know, mentally today. Oh, yeah. No, I'm physically drenched if i go up and do something walk a couple of steps and then i'm just <gasps> it's crazy yeah p is p is like sick sick <laughs> what do you drain from aisha i don't know today when i when i woke up i have no idea why i was feeling that way i was oh. feeling so like lazy mentally like drained i don't know what i want to, to do I was gonna start making a uh, new video for my 600 subscribers uh, special, but then I changed my mind. I said, no, I'm gonna take a break from Photoshop and do something uh, different today. Oh, really? No. Did you go to the beach? No, I, we couldn't go out, unfortunately, but I played some video games with my little brother. All right, then. Cool. Cool beans. Danny says, uh, I guess he's referring to um, the smorgasbord. He says, yeah, because us American pricks love to steal shit. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it was America. I think it was probably the English that did that one. Because that's been around for a minute. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Danny, I have more than my pants on. I'm so cold. <laughs> I even have my fake little lights here. <laughs> I have very short pants on. I have my my gym pants on they're they're like above the knees a little bit and they're tight around the bum yeah <laughs> they show a little bit of thigh there danny and it, gets, it gets a little milky up there where the sun don't shine 
That's a oh, oh, whole milk. Danny, I don't think you ever saw my drawing of you. Did he? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if he did. <laughs> <laughs> but let's think about what's actually happening here. He's on a date with his wife. He probably doesn't get to do it like all that often. He's on a stream with us. <laughs> Where is he? Like in the toilet, like sitting in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> did you see the drawing, Danny? <laughs> Doesn't answer me. Oh, she went for a walk. Okay. Oh, uh, Tenshi's about to get ready for work in a bit. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, it's Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> there you go. I need to get another Danny Milk. Uh, Danny Milk. I need to get another Danny Mix shirt, man. Did you make any that are in black yet? I need to go check. I really don't know why I saved those. But I still have Dude, them. they're awesome. Yes, they're good, Peter. Yeah. Yes, you are. I'm sporting a porn Porn <laughs> It's a. I used to have a porn It's stash, a man. Dirty Sanchez. Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty, dirty And then people. we have Joe, but he has his regular mustache. <laughs> I like that one. That one's my favorite. Yeah, that came well, out. No, I think the, but it's easy with legs, him with the hair. The hairy legs might take the cake, actually. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the <laughs> Frank from behind. <laughs> yep. Frank from behind. <laughs> <laughs> Frank from behind. That's funny. yeah. That was the weekend at Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> I uh, have a Hard Rock here. I don't know if you guys have seen it, man, but it's pretty freaking epic uh they built like this massive freaking guitar body mm -hmm. they have it's that huge. at all their see it from... uh, venues dude you can see it from like 20 miles away it looks like a mountain and it shoots these massive beams of light up at night that look like the guitar handle like the, the neck they have it's that crazy. down in ac too they have that at all of their places they did that in everywhere now i mm -hmm. thought that I thought the Seminoles did it only here. They just did it. It was like a huge opening. All these celebrities were here and shit. Oh, crazy. is that the one where they had the accident? I'll show you in a second. After I show you this epicness. Yeah. See that porn stash? No, that's a porn stash. And that shit's real. I wore that shit for like three years. <laughs> the oh, hell was I that. thinking? Yeah, I have seen that. <laughs> Boosh. Oh, now he's shirtless. <laughs> That's Zorro. That's what Zorro looks like without his mask. <laughs> 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 Those sons of bitches. <laughs> Hang on, I'll show you the guitar in a second. <laughs> oh, Aisha, your video's done. I really like this one. This is one of my favorites again. Mm -hmm. I say it all the time, but every time you make a new one, they get better and better. <laughs> Thank you. I like the lighting on this one. Yeah, this artwork, you know, the reason why I made it, when I was on Twitter, Jar19 was, uh, he retweeted uh, another, from another artist, I think uh, she or he made a digital art, but it was slightly different. And when I saw this one, I had an idea to create my own version of uh, Jar with uh, with brain in it. Oh, cool. <laughs> I like the eyeballs there too. <laughs> yeah, the eyeball. You know what someone said when I, because before I posted the video, I took a close up picture of the eyeball in the jars. And someone said, I didn't know Jacksepticeye made the narration video. And then when I saw the image again, I said, oh, hey, I know what he's <laughs> talking about, Jacksepticeye. <laughs> it's so good. Like, it's really, really good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Rather epic. All right, here's the um, 
Here is oh shoot, wrong button. My bad. Ooh. There we go. Get back to my crazy cat. <laughs> Here's the uh, the new hard rock thing they built. Thing is freaking huge. It's like forty or fifty stories or some shit. Nice. Whoa. It's crazy. Um, I, it was, you know, I've driven down the same turnpike for like 16 years. And then one day I just, I was driving down there. I hadn't been there for like two months mm -hmm. and it just rose out of the horizon. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> 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 That's insane. They made so much money though. Like there you go, Pia. That that's what I'm talking about. What? Right there, the the hard rock guitar. I can't it's hardly massive. see it. Yeah, let me find a better picture. Here it is from like a distance. Oh yeah, that's that's so much better. There's a good picture of it, man. For shit's sake, everything everybody's close up. You can't see how big it is. That's just a model. I don't know if it's the same size, but they have a giant one at AC. And when you drive into AC, you see it like far away. There you so go. Everybody knows that's way too hard rock. I mean, you can tell like that parking garage right there that you oh. see next to it. That right there is like a seven story parking garage. Oh, that's no, that's bigger than the one we have in AC. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah. And then at night, <laughs> it, the, the thing shoots lights up out of it like the Luxar in Vegas. Yeah, that's bigger than ours. Let me see. Uh, let me see if I can find a night picture of it. And ours is brown and orange, the logo colors. Oh, yeah, like the one in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah. Oh, that's not it. Oh, I don't have a picture of it at night. They're crazy. That's the best part. Ooh. Hmm. Well, it's super freaking awesome anyway. Super. It's so super. Uh, Tenshi's asking where that's at. That is in the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, which is on the Seminole Indian Reservation, basically uh, right by Hollywood, Florida, which is like 10 minutes from Fort Lauderdale. Cool. Yeah. The zombified, zombified. in the house. Hey, the zombified. Yeah, hey, what hey, is hey. up? The, the fun. Happy holidays. Don't you guys have a show? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, well, no, they do something. Ten, so, uh, ten. Ooh. Wait, what's going on here? Like, there's some kind of crazy shit. Like, okay, guys, I have to go for a walk. With, buy ten dollar drinks. Yeah, right, ten dollar drinks. Frank's okay. voodoo doll. Are you guys talking about the mustache? No, I think right. they are talking about the drawing, maybe. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, maybe oh, this is oh, what yeah, he's yeah, referring yeah, yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> Peace with chicken grease. Danny says. I don't know if he's still there, but later, dude. Yeah. See you on the flip side. Everybody, there's going to be a Mickathon coming up. It's yeah. Gonna be pretty sweet. Cool. Pia and Bill Ware set that up. Uh, I'll be hosting that Friday the uh, celebration with um, the end celebration with Danny Mick in the house, hopefully. Hey. What's going on, Dizombified? How are you guys doing? I haven't been over there in a minute. I've been slacking on everybody. I need to yeah. my rounds. Do my penance. Slip yeah. into that chat and yeah. battle Nightbot. Yeah. 
I don't know where to put this. <laughs> that bloody candle. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. want it here, but. Okay, I do this. So tell us a story, Aisha. It's story time from Aisha. <laughs> oh, I have uh, finally uh, again. I I participated in a contest on uh, deviant art yesterday. Oh, again? Yeah, I'm glad You're I saw it. it. Yeah, glad I saw it uh, sooner because when I read the uh, when it started, it started on November 11th, and it will end on uh, December 11th. Freaking awesome. Yeah. But I uh, I didn't record the video, but I have the link of the image uh, that I made. Uh, it, wait, say that again? I didn't quite catch that last part. Uh, I have the link to the image that I made for the contest. Oh, man, I want to see it. Okay, I will I will post it right now. Sweet. The, you know the the contest was the, she provided an image of her image of herself and then she said use your imagination with uh, with only this uh, image and everyone has uh, different uh, creations. Right, like different imp interpretations of the same like, yeah. And uh, the, content. Yeah, and the and the name of the image was uh, Krong. and the the way I made the, the image looks uh, look, looked like the a poster a little bit because of the title that I added at the bottom. Nice. I liked it. I saw it, Aisha. I liked it. The Zombified is saying that Nightbot is craving my blood. I'm sure. It's been a minute. Like, he must be starving. <laughs> 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 I need to get over there, man. I need to, like, consolidate my time better so that I can function the holiday seasons always mess me up man you're not the only one will i feel you that and being like, sick really messed me up oh yeah I can, that sucks though because you can't do anything nope yeah everyone is getting sick over here as the world so yeah true uh, Wes is asking if I do After Effects work. Um, kinda, I guess. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, I usually like. Sometimes I do stuff myself if it's like basic enough. But um, most of the time, I'll I'll buy a template. You know, because there's ten billion of them, and I'll just tear the damn thing apart and remake it in my image. Nice. Uh, I'll, I'll literally rip it apart and redo the 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 file. Instead of like sitting there and trying to figure a bunch of crap out, you know. But uh, when you're when I'm done with it, you can't tell that it's the same one that that somebody bought. So that's how bad I, uh, I rip it apart. <laughs> cool. Nice. Like the Miscast Entertainment intro is a template I I just shredded. Just posted uh, mm -hmm. the link. All right. I can't click on that thing. If I do, it'll crash my system. But how can I get it without doing that? Can I copy it? Try. Yeah, right click on it and copy link. Yeah, try. The, maybe it will work better. <laughs> copy link address. All right. Yeah. I don't know what the deal is with that, though. Why it does that. Mm. Yeah, oh, really too much on that old PC. Wow. Sure. It is. It is old, man. It's a couple years old. I upgraded the RAM and everything, but the video card's on. Yeah. Like... The video card is the main thing you want to upgrade, so. Huh. No, I, I beat the shit out of my video card, dude. You have no idea. Yeah. Well, like I, kick it, I kick its freaking ass, like, on, a, <laughs> on the daily. <laughs> I run so many programs that shouldn't be run together. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I, I 
but right. um, <laughs> here we go. That, that is freaking amazing, man. Holy crap. <laughs> Wow. That's really, that's, all right, so can I say it? That's your best work so far. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Mm. It's so uh, soft, like, I don't know, the lighting looks really awesome from the, like, the backlighting. Yeah. Yeah, at first I wasn't sure what type of uh, background uh, should I make. I was uh, I was worried that it's not gonna turn out uh, beautiful. But then when I combine these two images from the first try, it looked uh, amazing. It's unbelievable. It's really awesome. Mm. Yeah. I can't tell if she's sad or if she's like about to be super happy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Like, seriously. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, hopefully, me, I always tell myself, hopefully I win this time. I haven't been Let me make it a little bit bigger for everybody. <laughs> Very nice. Cool. Mm. Crowned. Did you make that font too, or is that no, just that, a regular font? That... No, that font, uh, there is a website I always use for fonts called uh, da and then font, uh, dot com. I always, whenever I make, uh, like, whenever I add text to my uh, art pieces, I go to this website. They have, like, all types of uh, fonts that you can uh, think of. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> nice job, man. Good work. Thank you. Yeah. Good edges. Hey, Will. Yo. Let's say this. Whatever graphics you make me, whatever you do, I will have some epic music to go with. You oh. have it already? <laughs> The music not yet. I'm waiting on my cousin to make it, but it will be good. My it will be good. My cousin is a professional musician. So oh, right on. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah, I hit him up, say, hey, I need two ten secret traps. You know, one called Timmy and one a bit more creepy, so. <laughs> I want to hear it, man. I love it when people like we know make music and art and stuff. It's so cool, man, because then if they get famous, you can hit them up for money. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not doing I'm that to my husband <laughs> because he doesn't hit him up for money before they get famous. He's <laughs> family and he's doing it no charge. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's cool, man. I want to hear it. I'm really curious. Yeah. Like, Frank made some pretty sweet music. Now, Frank always makes pretty sweet music, but he made some music outside his wheelhouse anyway. It's yeah, cool. I have, Pia uses it all the time. I have heard some of Frank's music, and I still have asked him, but I already knew someone who works in I thought, why not just ask my family, so, <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why not? Just do it, man. Yeah, so, I will probably have those tracks 
by the fourth of January, sir. New season, new music. Well, the me, the me, the 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 new music is for my new shows that I'm beginning next year. Are you gonna do Disney Plus? <laughs> yeah. Cool. I mean, I told you all the shows that I'm doing are, you know, my schedule digitals for cartoon reviews, the DJ series for, you know, conspiracy series, and then on Fridays, Disney Mayhem. Disney Mayhem. And there's plenty of that these days. Yeah. Toxic fandom. Yep. And that will be my Disney Plus show. So. Nice. Yeah. And that will be out every Friday next year. Cool beans, man. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Designified says, gotta go, friends, but great seeing you all. Peace, love, and bye bye, the Zombified. <laughs> bye yeah, bye, yeah. Zombified. Love you. Always a pleasure to have you guys in this chat watching this show. We know you're gonna put on an epic show here in a couple minutes. Yeah. Uh hopefully I'll be on there when I'm done with this one. If I'm <laughs> 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 I need to go make an appearance over there so Nightbot could suck in my veins. I so. doubt he will <laughs> make it. <laughs> it's crazy. That's how crazy we all are, you know? We go from one stream to the other and we're, we just don't sleep, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will hopefully be releasing a new uh, Reads episode on... Um, Sunday. Nine. If I if I can make it happen. It's a it's a there's a lot of character work in it, so it's tough. What for the, I already, I, I've had the beginning done for like a week. <laughs> what story is it? It's the third story to the Snow Queen. Okay. Hopefully we'll see it later, uh Designified. You guys rock. Yeah. That's an understatement, actually. That's a that's a huge understatement. They more than rock. Actually, uh, can someone drop a link to their channel here in case anybody wants to fly on over there and check them out? I think they're going on at 10, right? Yeah. I have to leave you for a little while. Aw. Talk to Ghana. I'll be back. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. I got gotcha. you. Got to deal with Ghana. I hope she's all right, man. That's really terrible. Yeah. Thanks, Aisha. I shared the stream also on uh, Twitter. Cool. <laughs> Disney Plus is awesome, man. Like, I literally was like, all right, what haven't I seen that's been in the vault for like decades and looked for it and it came up in two seconds. I was like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately watched it. Yeah. <laughs> I dropped everything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've been watching the Mandalorian every week. Well, everybody's watching that, man. It is the best so um, that it's pretty damn yeah. good, man. Yeah. I freaking knew it, Wes. I knew I was gonna get that question. What? So I freaking started watching the Irishman yesterday because I knew I was gonna get bombarded with that today. <laughs> it's a damn long movie, so I definitely didn't make it all the way through it. But I gotta say one thing right off the bat, man. I'm about maybe forty five minutes, almost an hour into it. It's really hard oh. to deal with that de-aging shit, man. It's super freaking hard to 
to not see that and it ruins it for me i'm trying really freaking hard to like suspend my disbelief but every time i see that de-aging i'm like oh dude man, how, how long did you do that? is that i was like, three and a half hours what it's not bad for a TV. You know, you're seeing it at home, so who cares? You know, I just couldn't do it last night in one go. Is my point. Okay, like, yeah, yeah. But my my problem with it is the damn de aging is so obvious that it it ruins it for me. I, I don't know. I got maybe it'll go away as I I'll get used to it or something. But you know, after 45 minutes of it, I'm still not used to it. Uh, yeah. It's rough. Sometimes they look old. Sometimes they look young. It just, depending on the angle, they always look old when they move because they can't move right. <laughs> and uh, I can't tell, like, you know, it's the 50s and he's supposed to be, everybody calls him a kid, but he looks like he's like 55 or 60. <laughs> I got just right. I'm confused, man. <laughs> like, you want this on? I, I wish they would have picked a story that they could have used their age in. I uh, may have to check it out. I am that. It's really nice though seeing Pesci and um, Harvey and uh, Pacino and all those guys together again. The whole gang, people from freaking Boardwalk Empire, are in there like. Got the Scorsese angles and the nice. cinematography. Like, that part is always a pleasure to see. Like, Scorsese all day long, man. And it's really good to see Pesci again, to tell you the truth, because he's been off the grid for a hot minute. And damn, did he get old. <laughs> um, all I'm gonna say, and well, I know you're gonna hate me to say this because oh, you have finished but I hope that Dragon Prince Season 4. You've seen it? No. You mean Season 3? No, what I'm saying is I hope there's another season. Uh, there has to be. I mean, it's a really popular well, show, right? <laughs> once you get to the end, you will know why I say that. Oh, I love that freaking show. I love the animation style. It's like 3D with... Um, 2D textures. Yeah, I always love that yeah, style. Yeah, I love it too. Um, and the story is really good. You know, it's like a little bit of adult and a little bit of kid. Kind of like it reminds me of Rebels, Star Wars Rebels, and Star Wars Clone Wars. Yeah. it's the same kind of show. I mean, but with a different storyline. If you have ever seen Avatar: The Last Airbender, it has. Uh, the same type of animation and I, I'm not talking about that freaking 2010 movie oh I and yeah the, the, abom the abortion no like I never got into that story man like Dragon Ball Z Avatar those were beyond my years and when I tried to watch them as an adult I just don't understand why everybody likes those shows. I really don't. I can't get into the story. I don't get it. Like, really? You know, it's just an opinion. Okay. I saw Knives Out, Wes. I saw that movie. And although I hate Ryan Johnson when he does Star Wars, I love Looper. And I loved, loved, loved Kni Knives Out, man. It was a great clue movie um daniel craig his accent was freaking fantastic everybody in that movie was fantastic i loved the the sleuth i'm a i'm a sucker for that clue like sleuth kind of avid that uh, noir kind of film <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, I loved it, man. I I went with my mother and my brother on Thanksgiving, and they both slept through the whole fucking movie. Like literally, the they fell asleep ten minutes into the movie. Yeah. I tried to wake them up. I didn't give a shit after a while, and I was, I just sat there and just smiled the whole damn time. <laughs> nice. Mm. It's such a good movie, man. It's like, you know, they don't make movies like that anymore. They really don't. They don't make really good like dark comedy sleuth movies you know it's just a really good it's just like clue it's like a it's a it's a clue movie like did the butler do it with the candlestick kind of shit yeah, cool what's going on aisha <laughs> nothing what you doing <laughs> I have been thinking about what, uh, what type uh, of video, uh, the art that I'm going to make for my new video, new premiere video for my 600 uh, subscribers. Oh, that should be epic, man. I was thinking about creating not only one or two, make the video, I create more than two artworks and also make the uh, make the video longer than my typical videos. No. Oh yeah, so people can chat longer. Yeah, this is what I have that been would be thinking. Awesome. You know what else you should do though? What? You should do something that has something to do with this fish, deer, Shocking Santa while he pukes up jingle bells. <laughs> like, use that as inspiration. <laughs> I feel bad for that poor fat old elf. And what kind of pants is the fish wearing, man? Two pants. Hey. Hmm. Oh, my spine. Long days. Long, long days. My, you know What's what, the weather like know, over there? You know what was happening? My subscribers, my subscribers count. It's like it increases and then suddenly it decreases. <laughs> I've been experiencing that for like two days. I hate that. Yeah, yeah. You know, it before, like yes, not yesterday, before two days ago, it was 599, and then suddenly it dropped to 596, and and today it is 997. I mean, 597 today. I always get worried when I do like the 600 video, or, you know, like or, or the hundred video. I mean, and then you jump the gun, and then it's like, it's like you know whatever hundred, then it drops back down to nine. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, no, you know, you know what I decided to do? If I don't, if I reach 600, uh, six not 600 exactly, like 602, 605 or 10. I will make that. I will post that video. Yes. So I make yes. sure. Yes. So I make sure when it drop, when the subscribers can't drop a little bit, it is not like five hundred ninety something. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, it's good oh. stuff right there. I always oh. did that in my previous uh, video. I make sure that it is more than like, for example, more than five hundred, like five hundred and ten or five hundred and uh, and six, and then I post a new video. <laughs> Yeah. That's smart. Yeah, for the Patrick, I've been developing with QOA and QOA. Really? Where are you at? What? Where are you at? Like 200? 300? I'm at. You exist now. Um, what the on giving you free hugs with? Right on, right on. My goal was actually to get 200 bucks and the year. You can do it, man. 
you know, I crossed that goal. Now, hopefully that I could climb to, to twenty five by like June. But once you start doing Disney Plus videos, dude, your shit will skyrocket. Cause right now you're doing videos that no one really knows about. But once you start getting in that ball game where everybody's talking about it, you're going to see a huge difference. Yeah, there. I know. And I mean, you get why I do the videos that I do. It's unique and no one does it. So. It's unique and when someone searches for that shit, like you're the only one that's going to come up. So that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> How's Gana doing, Pia? I don't know. Uh, so sad. I want to like, I have lots of guns. We could find these people. No, that's very that's, special skill set. That's not gonna change anything in this mess. Ah. Yeah, that's so. Uh... That's all right, because I only kill cardboard anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even kill ants, man. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you couldn't kill anything if you try. The only thing you're going to kill is your channel. <laughs> Wow, man, that was that was brutal, dude. That was like the most brutal one of all, dude. That was the lowest of all blows, man. That that, that one. Maybe you should that one change down. your channel name, DJ, to DJ Talks Disney Plus, or DJ Talks Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's you do good with stuff. You don't want to change your name too often so you could have consistency with your brain and, you know, over the past. Years I have changed it like three times. So really, yeah. In the past year, I always I never no, I didn't, didn't know the other ones. Year, the past eight years. Oh, you're fine, man. They don't care unless you're doing it all the time. Yeah. Well. Like you, you, if you did it three times in a year, they still probably wouldn't care. Well, but ever since I've known you, and it's been like longer than a year, you've been DJ Talks. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like. DJ Talks is the name I tried to stick with for a while. But I think Pia's got a good idea, man. Honestly. DJ Talks Disney. Maybe start another channel. Yeah, but here's the thing. Disney and this is a positive and a negative. But Disney is a overdone category. We all know that. I mean, yeah, but they're huge. They're constantly being talked about. It would be your channel name. It could be a second channel. You know, I have I have specialized miscast channels. Yeah, and you know, now what? Now that you suggest that well, I didn't uh, suggest it. P had suggested it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean. Have the second channel you suggested that? Oh, yeah. What I'm trying to say is 
that might be a good idea for the Disney Mayhem show that I'm going to do. And that will be easy to do. So I might. Cool. Cool beans. I might recruit someone to do the artwork for that. So we will see. <laughs> hey, Tenchi's saying I have to get ready for work, but I'll be listening while I get ready. Well, Tenchi, nice. I hope you keep your clothes on. Very <laughs> 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 Because DJ's balls are out. <laughs> and you don't know what he's doing underneath that chin. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> See, now every time he looks up at those balls, he's going to think about all these comments on these on this show and all the other ones about DJ's balls. <laughs> well, at least they're nice and smooth. But you got some blue balls up there, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we both know what balls you're talking about. I'm not the one that has a halo of balls around my head. <laughs> it's not a halo. You <laughs> I think I might kill the stream at 10 tonight, guys. Everybody seems tired. I'm freaking dying. Yeah, I'm gonna head out. No, the I'm sorry, I'm a little unfocused right now. No, it's no problem, man. I know Gana's going through some shit. Yeah. Wes is like, boo. <laughs> 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 well, at least someone gets it. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, let me change. share a video with you. It's not mine. Did DJ just bolt like. <laughs> What the hell just happened? Let me share a video with you. Uh, it, okay, cool. It's Swedish Lucia. Oh, I want to see this for sure. I put it in the... Yeah, right, Wes? That was, like, insane. He was like, bye, click. <laughs> <laughs> what the... F He's like, I gotta go. I gotta go polish my balls. <laughs> Damn it, that didn't work. Hang on. Share some Swedish. Oh, Swedish mom. Hey, I'm just talking. I'm going to see Lucia hey. tomorrow. Hey, Swedish mom. Swedish mom, welcome. He knows welcome. what I'm talking about. I'm going to get a copyright off the ass for this, ain't I? No. <laughs> I have used that video before. Okay. Let me uh, kill my background chill music. And let's watch some Swedish Lucia. Yeah, cover me. The dummies. <laughs> December 13 isn't a date in Sweden. It's Lucia. On this day, two things are inescapable. A, it's cold. And B, it's dark. To fight the dark, light was needed. The Lucia tradition can be traced back to St. Lucia of Syracuse in Italy. No wonder Swedes celebrate her every year. According to old heathen and pagan myths, this was a night when evil Heathens. dark spirits liked to roam, <laughs> and animals became possessed and started to talk. 
<laughs> As usual in Sweden, when it comes to traditions, the why is less important than the how. The first thing this you need to do is awesome. to make lucybulla or saffron buns. A saffron is a controlled substance and only sold at supermarket counters. Everyone cheats on the ginger biscuits, a pepper cocker in Swedish, and buys the pre-made dough. Advanced bakers and show-offs make oh, gingerbread houses too mm. and put them out on Facebook. Yes. Make sure you have some plonk handy <laughs> for mulled wine or glug as the Swedes call it. Pour in your spices and then watch it like a hawk so it doesn't boil or Lucia won't be quite as much fun. I thought we needed a little glug. Lucia mm. fronts a band of singing handmaids. We drink that Santos, every Christmas. Star boys, my and gingerbread here. men. But don't feel bad if you're last so in line in a brown one piece. Hair. Everyone serves a purpose. <laughs> oh, she has and dawn to language. dusk, processions take place in homes, schools, churches, hospitals, and offices and bring tears to most people's eyes. <laughs> One of the catchiest numbers yes. is the Tip Tap song. Tip, tip, but what really gets Every you in the Christmas spirit is the theme tune sang to Lucia. This on Lucia. Every school. Only Lucia it's gets to fantastic. wear candles in her hair. The rest have to carry theirs. The ever-cautious Swede goes for fake candles these days. Less fires that way, especially in daycare centers. It's practically impossible not to attend at least one Lucia procession. Your colleagues, neighbors, children will make sure of that. And that or there's Sweden's Lucia on in TV. The city called Gjävle. Every year, they Sweden votes for its favorite Lucia in a nationwide contest. Christmas. Although the and winner isn't judged is on her voice, she must love children and, of course, desire world peace. Every year. So Just like Miss World. How long it will survive. If you can't it's make it to Sweden at this time of year, by all means try it at home or head to a it Swedish embassy, consulate or church to see the pros in action. People's heads burst into flames. Oh, that was it? That was fantastic. Golf clap. And all the... Uh, Nobel Prize winners get woken up by the Lucia, the Stockholm City Lucia. That's freaking awesome, man. Like, I love the hats. Unfortunately, I can imagine how wax in your hair would suck major ball sacks. Well, you can get one of the Star Boys, the pointy one. Well, I saw the one girl was wearing like a sheet over her hair. So yeah, she didn't get it. they usually do that if they have uh, regular candles. The real candles, yeah. Swedish mom, have you seen this contraption? <laughs> yes, she has many times. <laughs> Are you guys selling, celebrating uh, holidays, Aisha? No. Nothing? No, nothing. Wow. <laughs> now the weather uh, is getting colder, which I like, because finally I will be able to go to have a picnic at a beach or a park. Nice. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I love winter time, because you can go wherever you like without w worrying about uh, the weather. Is it like 130,000 degrees in the summertime? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's not too cold. Like, you know, a little cold. Yeah, not too, not too cold. No, I mean, the summer, is it like so hot, like your skin starts to blister when you walk outside? Yeah, especially on uh, June and July. Shit. And man. May also. It's starting to get that way in Florida. You, like, no one goes outside. It's like walking through, like, hot pre-boiling butter you can like feel the air like against your skin yeah like, this is hot. yeah this is what happens also during the uh, summer time oh i moved yeah, my rough. christmas hey evil witch what's hey, up evil witch see all i have to say is like i'm gonna kill the freaking thing early and like eighty thousand people show up the same thing happens to freaking frank's streams <laughs> <laughs> i noticed that <laughs> it's true well, you know, since you guys are all here, I'll stay on longer. <laughs> now we have something to talk about. It was bogging down for a second there. We had a lull. I'm going, but that video is actually freaking hilarious. Yeah. I am going to put on some uh, Sabrina in the background. 
her artwork. She just did um, a character from The Witcher. Yep. Tessa, I think. Or Triss. Triss, my bad. Uh, super cool, man. And you know what? I talked with uh, Sabrina on Thursday when I had my live stream Thursday morning. And I told her about Two But It's New Tool, where you can use it to go through your videos and they say whether they think they are for kids or not so she used it and all her videos was deemed as not for kids what how well two body have literally cartoons <laughs> with with no cussing yep but according to two body and it said don't trust it a hundred percent but it gives you an inclination about what they would be. So she was happy. Look, you know, again, I'm tired of talking about it. <laughs> yeah, but since you mentioned her, I... We'll see in January what happens. No, we will see in February. It's not... I thought it took place... I thought it went to effect in January. Yeah, but they're going to do their streams and searches and... Oh. So. Oh. It will take a while, but we will know. Yeah, we'll know. I'm not going to stop. They can kiss my butt. Yeah. I don't think nothing you do will be in danger. Well, uh, I'm, I'm not worried about my stuff being in danger. I'm just worried about my monetization and comments. Literally. More of my, com honestly, more of my comments. Like, I don't want to lose my yeah, comments. Yeah, I agree. But I don't think you will. Maybe the kids' channel, but not your yeah, reach. I'm worried about miscast uh, kid. Uh, well, oh no, miscast kids. I fully, uh, but still, you know, I, I still, you know, there's the audience interaction is what's the best part about being a YouTuber. Yeah. And without that, man, I don't, you know, it's not social media platform anymore. That's for sure. That's all right. We'll just say go to Twitter and tweet. Damn it. Yeah. I I don't think it will be as bad as we thought it would be. We'll see, you know. I mean, it's Google that started this mess, not the not the the government. Google settled with the government and started this shit. So. Yeah. The other the other platforms aren't going through this shit. They have to follow the same rules too, you know. And they probably did. But they're not getting sued. <laughs> because YouTube just ignored it and put all those, those cookies on their end everywhere. Yep. I think this is my favorite Sabrina drawing, actually. Yeah. I mean, I agree. yeah, the detail is fantastic. And, like, this one has a story, like a real story that she explains. And, um,. It's pretty freaking awesome. But you can She's also you really can good. see that it is her favorite character too. Oh yeah. She's got passion in it. Yep. All these freaking artists we know, it's insane. Yeah. <laughs> Wes says Kappa Schmappa. Wait, what did what did Swedish Ma, or Ivovich miss? We missed uh, Philia Noctis uh, premiere. Ah. Uh. Oh my God! I can't believe I missed it. You know, because on Twitter she, um, she mentioned me in her tweets that she will have a premiere, and I forgot about it. When was it? I think uh, it was in the middle of your uh, stream. Oh shit! It was like a half hour ago. I could have freaking put it on and played it. Ooh. I never even thought of doing that. I could stream a stream. <laughs> yeah. Would there be like a feedback loop? <laughs> 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 we should try that. The Zomified will be on in two minutes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what happens. Two I'm streams at the right same now. time. <laughs> Yeah, wouldn't that be insane? Yeah, that would be awesome. And you guys can, yeah, you guys can comment. 
Let's do it, man. Let's let's fuck with the system. It's crazy. We have no life outside of YouTube. <laughs> oh, I have a life outside YouTube. It's just a pain in my ass. <laughs> No, I love my life like all around. Like none of us sleep very much. <laughs> no. Yeah. You can't you can't have a cyber life and a a regular life and sleep all that much. Oh boy, see, Swedish uh, mom, yeah. I guess you need to go to bed. Oh. Holy crap, 4 a.m. You are a trooper. We appreciate your awesomeness. And that is the truth. Hey, before you go to bed, though, I know you like some of my uh, Miss Cass Reed stuff. Sunday, hopefully, if everything goes well, I'll be releasing the next story in the Snow Queen. I'm excited to, to listen. It is uh, story three. It's kind of a sad one, too. And it's the first one I've done that's not dark, which is strange. I mean, it's got dark themes in it, but it's more like uh, fairy tale-y than, than like horror. Let's see. Yeah, 10 p.m. Oh, I hope everybody gone to bed here now. I'm still looking out. <laughs> Wes is like infinite loop. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Instagram thing? You ever point a camera at a monitor through a camera's HDMI port? Nope. But I imagine it looks like a freaking um, mirror in a mirror, right? <laughs> oh boy yeah it's an infinite loop that's for sure we're gonna look at it right now it becomes something like this maybe oh shit yeah, but you're on a delay, so it won't work. No. You'd have to be at the same time. Yeah. It doesn't work. Here we go. Here's what Wes is talking about. You can see that. That's crazy town, man. It makes that monitor look super 3D. IG. I like the way that uh, Sabrina gave Tris uh, red hair. I always imagined her like a dirty blonde. Goodbye. Go lay down. All right, I'm going to put Sabrina on pause. Because the zombified just started. Yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> if the computer crashes, they it just was did. worth it. It's a, it's a great scientific yeah. discovery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear anything. Oh shit! <laughs> that scared the <laughs> fuck out of me. Freaking mom's calling me. Well, people, why is I have no sound? Are they not talking? All right, I'm clicking the button. I'm going for it. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. Wow. <laughs> it worked. 
That's crazy, man. Streams, streams all over. Now we have double stream. <laughs> We're streaming streams. So now we should go on their website and telling them. Yeah, yeah. I don't hear them though. It's countdown. Oh, it's yeah, countdown, yeah. I'll just wait though so I don't text my computer to, to oblivion. Yeah. I can't believe I'm still awake. You're a trooper. Yes, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have just discovered a new fun thing. Just like doing voices in the chat, now we can chat with other chatters and other chats and other streams. <laughs> <laughs> streaming and another fuck stream. with everybody at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> streaming another stream. It's the stream. It's stream palooza. That's what we're going to call it. <laughs> I'm going to freaking do a, an episode next Friday, and I'm going to call it Stream Palooza. We'll just go awesome. and find other people's streams and fuck with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll be like bar hopping with streams. Stream Palooza. Swedish mom saying, Dizomify, and Tenshi saying, My day is just starting. He just washed his balls and put on his pants. He's ready to go. <laughs> Evil bitch. Yeah. Uh, Tenshi, we were watching Dizomify for a second there. Like, yeah. Oh, sweet. My mom said that. But it's not an infinite loop. Is it? Is it really episode five of the Calling Frenzy? Wow. Yeah, right? Yeah, a five. In a week. Wow. Actually, it's a month and two weeks because I didn't do one last week. This would be six, technically. Wow. And I think I've been bugging you every week. It's cool. I dig it. I look forward to it. Well, Wes, the Zombified stream is mainly a stream for um, narrators and... Uh, dark narrators that do like horror and they also sometimes suspense. they interview uh, artists as well oh really yeah I think like a while ago they interviewed an artist I can't remember the I name I have not seen that <laughs> yeah I missed it though, but I missed it as well but when I saw the title they were describing that the person was an artist yeah they do paranormal too yeah but uh it's really cool man it's just a community of uh people that do a lot of voice acting uh well not necessarily voice acting mainly narrating uh some people do voice acting but mostly narrators um but they interviewed you aisha and you're an artist yeah, they will. They I say they told one. me. They told me they will schedule like an interview with us, uh, someday. So I stay longer in their stream. <laughs> yeah, you were like uh, two and a half hours into like a three and a half hour stream. No, they, when I first time uh, joined their stream, uh, I talked a little bit about my channel for like a short time. Oh, did you did you narrate something? I think I know. I listened to it. No, I didn't narrate. I was talking uh, about my my channel and my art only. Right, right, right. That was the first time we we heard your voice. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that's that's the one. Yeah, that was uh, that was an epic episode. They had the direct. Uh, Evil Vich is saying they had the director of the Telltale Heart short film on last night. I didn't know there, there was a director of a Telltale Heart short film. I need to see this shit. Not the one with Vincent Price, I would imagine. No, I need to leave you for a short while. It's all right. Uh, Tenshi's saying my balls are nice and shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Much coolness there.
Uh, Swedish bomb been around from the start. I love the Zombified. I heard of them through uh, Frank, actually. No, the Zombified, uh, I discovered them from uh, another uh, narrating uh, channel. Called, uh, it's called The Dark uh, Narrator. I saw them in the comment section, and then I joined the, their channel. I think it was, like, maybe uh, six months ago or more. Yeah, I I can't remember if I found you through them or through. No, you no well. no you uh, you met me through uh, Frank uh, stream. Yeah. And Frank so. and Frank, I met Frank from the Zombified uh, interview stream when they did one with uh, Frank. Yeah, that was when I saw the Zombified for the first time was Frank's interview. Yeah. He was on for a long time. Wow. So that was that was how long ago was that? That was a long time ago. <laughs> it seems like it anyway. <laughs> like four or five months ago? Something like that. I didn't even know there were like channels like that uh, before I saw that. Like where narrators coalesced. Evil Vich is saying she found them through 13 past midnight. I know their countdown is freaking insane. Did we lose you, Aisha? No, no, I'm still here. Oh, oh. I can't tell because I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> So I gotta be a creeper. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still there, Lassie? First time I heard them, they was reading ASMR and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Swedish mom is not down with ASMR. Understandable. We made a, a parody video of that that's pretty damn funny. Yeah, I remember that on one of your uh, streams. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do another one, but that's that's a hard one to top. That shit was freaking off the wall funny, man. Like, <laughs> you, you, you can't, like, when it's, like, ad lib like that, it's hard to, like, do it again or mimic it again. I wish I had enough bandwidth to, like, get inside their stream so I had, like, a little miscast uh, character. My little, like, like ninja guy running around. <laughs> I wonder if I can. <laughs> Christmas mischief. Will that jack it up like entirely? Oh god, here we go. Two streams, two chats. We're going for broke. <laughs> <laughs> if it dies, we'll just, if you guys stick around, I'll, I'll just get, restart it and go again. We just won't do that part. Oh, shit. There it is. I'll say something so my dude goes in there. Viewer discretion advised. All right. My dude should should start. Oh, they're starting. Here we go. <laughs> Don't you die on me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this Don't one goes out to all you Dezamba friends, the Z Horde. We want you to know just how much we love you. Shout out to Philia Noctis, Creepy Clown Girl, Dark Carnival. We need to update this, no damn it. <laughs> it's so that we can Jose's entertaining. I see the uh, people in it don't even watch anymore. <laughs> it's an epic song, the Fleming's though. Stronger than the rock, hellfires out here making everything hot. All right, let me kill the music. Yeah. Rate him 23 or 5 Just sucking on my shit Equip the knights down Kid, he's family Now there are times When we all need Gordani Marshalls oh, in the house Never know what's shit. in store Huh 
Mandy Mortem is legit and a queen Got the glows and chain thing, she's on the scene 13 past midnight, things that go bump in the night Will we be horror addicts? Okay, I mean so, both Big ups to the <laughs> night play horror show Emily's adventures in horror land, here we go and you know we gotta keep them dice rolling, MD Who Entertainment, she's been chosen. Give it up for the evil outcast, Swedish mom is dope, yo, you know she got class. So if you get bad vibes from storytelling, then these monsters in my mind will leave you yelling. You see, we all about hearing stranger stories on the creeps this week. She really got love for me. Penny tails up, narrating for the win. Queenie Todd, they amazing, but real dark and grim. Dementor centaurs, flicker thorns, swamp dwellers. It's called the 22, they be our fellas. And I'm making tone, made time we live. a fantastic panic, the paranormal history, great graphics. What's up? Oh, you guys are all showing up in there. I'm gonna guess so fantastic. The various TV. Slumberies are the morbid Cap 7 truly salmon And we can never ever get about Karen 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 Hello, hello, hello Welcome, Gub. Thinking art is Robocop <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's tiny too. Look how tiny he is. <laughs> he's this little dude right here. And this is Stereo Dread. We're powered him. by. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I <laughs> gotta turn them up, up man. They're quite Welcome. Shit. It is Friday. Thank goodness. The end of the week, and we have the weekend to relax. Yes, no, I need. Hope you had a wonderful day. How are you feeling, Miss Stereo? <sighs> I'm glad I have um, two of how everything. How are you feeling, Mysterio? I'm feeling quite I'm fine. I'm a freaking so uh, I was a Dragon Ball Z character, of course. Sure we don't have, you know, that dreaded echo we used to have. So, yeah, I was just checking to see how we sound on the live PC. How's everybody doing tonight? Glad to see y'all. <laughs> Tonight we have a special guest, Don't Turn Around. He is a wonderful narrator right here on YouTube. And shortly we will be having an interview with him. So I know you're here for that and you can't wait this for is that. Freaking but, epic. You know, I would like to say hello to uh, some of our friends who have joined us this evening, if that's okay with you, Mysterio. Oh, that sounds fabulous, darling. Fantastic. Great. Then let's get it started. So, check it out. We have Philia Noctis. Hello, sweetheart. It is good to see you. She's in the His House. The His House, His House, His House. We also have Dan Sheba. Hello, I like Dan it Sheba. when he says this. She's in the His House. <laughs> now I have miscast in this ear. Welcome, girl. And the zombified in this ear. She's in the his Damn, house. we're breaking all the rules. <laughs> we're making a, we're wow. a new nice. system. It's good to see you. You know what, what I like also? He's in the his so house. When, uh, when Kenny said, who's calling my damn house? Nice. <laughs> yeah, who's calling my damn DJ house? Talks. <laughs> yeah, baby. He's in the his house. There it is. That's our buddy right there, DJ Talks. Hi, darling. Welcome. Oh, that slippery bastard. We got the one and only. <laughs> Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Scary stories. Into his house. Nice. Thank you for being here tonight. Really appreciate that. Watch. Thank you. We also have Demented. <laughs> Maniac. Welcome. He's into his house. Fantastic. All right, cool. So, let's see. We also have Shelby. Shelby, everybody. Craft business. Into his house. In the his house, Ms. his house, his house. Also, in the his house. I have that on my right, mixer, right, but right. I can't hear my own voice, so... Oh, 
right. I don't know if I would Everybody's even sound phones, like an echo. Yeah, I, I don't know how the echo would sound. We have K K Q Z O on zero ping. Yeah. In the his house. Say also, that fast five times. You couldn't pay me enough to do so. <laughs> I'm sorry. But we also have with us um, Thinking Art K-Z-O Entertainment. Ping. Thank you for being here. They're into his house. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. We're almost caught up with the chat and saying hello to our wonderful friends and our new folks. Like, hey, check it out. Pixel P is here. Thank you. They're into his house. Christine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> This is mad news. <laughs> it's it's kind of like a watch party. Yeah. Nice. That's, We're that's streaming sound a watch party of a yeah. stream. That sound Tenchi effect from Metal Jacko. Gear Solid. Tenchi Jacko. Yeah. Welcome, Tenji Jacko. Yeah, they're into his house. In the his house. Yeah, thank you for subscribing as well. Yeah, Tenchi. Evil Bitch, I did. Really I told them. That. They were hanging over there at um, Miss Cat's <laughs> Entertainment um, live stream earlier. <laughs> Fantastic. We see also mutant artificial intelligence. That must be like nice. a new app also, that Streamlabs has own. with all those little characters. Yeah, that's why maybe. Oof. It's I pretty so cool. I dig it. To get to speak with the one and only Don't Turn Around Scary Stories. <sighs> I'm getting a little bit nervous. <laughs> How about you, Mysterio? Um, no, nah, baby, I'm not nervous. You know why? Because you're fabulous, darling. That's why. And you're oh. pro. And, you know, so fabulous. TA, so we don't have to worry about it. All right, cool. So, Mysterio, let's Evil do bitch this. Is like, let's burr. see I'm who's on tonight. <laughs> Would you like to? Sure. Sounds good to me. Wait a minute. Joe's like, back like, from Australia. Um, we got another subscriber. Going on KQZO uh, zero ping. There. Thank you for <laughs> subscribing. Awesome. That okay. is so wonderful. Do you want to say who's on, baby, so that I can switch to that? Or... Well, before we do so, I have to say hello to Evil of Vich. Sure. There you go. She is also in the his house. I also see Re twelve fifty seven. Acknowledge the evil. In the his house. <laughs> Artzilla Asia, thank you for being here, sweetheart. She's also in the his in the house. house. You guys Ban are in the his house. Ban Sheba, house. everybody. Ban Sheba. <laughs> Welcome, Ban Sheba. <laughs> She's in the his house. Epicness. What's going on, Joe? Right, we're watching. Nice. We're awesome. we're doing something new here. Okay, so we're watching we'll a stream within a stream, <laughs> <laughs> and we're commenting on the other stream. <laughs> yep, now we're going to transition on to who's on tonight. Okay. We're breaking that, we're ground gonna go left and right at Miss Cast Entertainment every week. Wonderful. So, sweetie, who's on tonight? Okay, <laughs> let's see who's on tonight. Let's check. I'll tell you who was on. <laughs> Miss Cast Entertainment. He was on earlier this yes, evening with a live was. stream. Yes, he was. Oh. It was a great time. I had fun. Does a very good job. Zombify was in my his house, his house, his house. Carry his house. <laughs> that is true. He always does a wonderful job. You know who else was um, live today? Most epic of them. Unbiased and on the fence. Actually, they're still live, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Watchmen's like um, so metal. It's showing like they're still live anyway. Yep, they are. They are indeed still live okay let's see this um Indeed. we also have the final girl looks like she's um live <laughs> tonight as well darling, right what, now, actually. what if they stream miscast so like we're streaming them and they're streaming us it's like a stream <laughs> <laughs> Lots of exposure. Well, we get like Sounds that cool. crazy, like, All right, cyclic, let's see uh, psych- who else is, what's it uh, called? A cyclic redundancy? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> a yes, back also, loop of yes, epic proportions where like quantum now. particles start exploding, okay. like Higgs and Boson particles. Um, <laughs> well, not a horror channel. They are fellow promoters of everything, including horror. 
Okay, no? All right. So, let me see here. Who else did it today? Oh, you know what? Dixie Cryptid up uploaded Bigfoot Stalks Hikers from the Trees 21 minutes ago. Also, Dixie Cryptid. That sounds awesome, oh, too. They have, like, uh, um, live let's see. transcript of oh, their words. Oh, Slumber Reads uploaded again. My local McDonald's yeah. is different at night. Five scary stories. That's by Slumber Reads as well. Let's see. Who else is here? Oh, Paranormal Portal is live. I got that notification about 23 minutes ago. If you decide to check anybody out that we have spoken about, please let them know we sent you. All right. That's Dark crazy. Uploaded tonight. Hang Miyoko, the woman who oh, spoiled shit, her man. own we might, face. Like, oh, my what God. What if we, like, break the barriers of the space-time okay. continuum by well, doing this? And we start oh, seeing Christina things from the past and Son the Ghost Squad the time, premiered a video like today Manhattan. about two hours ago. Naps Lake Islip, spirit fighting over a woman. You know, she's a paranormal investigator. Oh, bottle caps uploaded as well. Texada Island, dolphins and seals and um, chasing a fairy. That's I don't know if I could use amazing. live captioning because it um, wouldn't understand my... Drone Did you mention yeah. Slumber Reads? Yes, sir. So, Gothic Rolls also um, premiered a couple of hours ago. Short Horror Stories, Volume 1, featuring monsters in my mind. Nice. That yeah. is Gothic nice. Gothic Rolls. She's Ooh. awesome. Spooky Boots. Yeah, I love her channel. Yeah, she's great. Okay. Oh, I'm glad we did this. I haven't Mr. had time Davis to watch cold the zombified scene forever. And missing persons cases from Kansas. It's a watch party. That's awesome. I know. <laughs> Wes is video, like, the Tennessee their voices. voices. <laughs> 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 I love this zombified. He's like, too relaxing. Well, that's because uh, Kenny Dreadpool is smoking the chibo like a son of a bitch. <laughs> he's in... He's in Mr. Massachusetts, and the shit's legal, so <laughs> he just puff puffs, puffs man, all night long. Mystery, and Mysterio, she just, uh, she just and congrats acknowledges to don't it turn and lets around. it go on. He shared our video with his subscribers. Thank you so much. And with <laughs> evil bitch is like, yay, a watch party. <laughs> on that note. Okay, okay. To the to the interview, my love. Sure, absolutely. Let's do that right you now. You are the wind. Beneath my wings. <laughs> so Thank you, together. darling. That is really sweet of you to say. That's and that, awesome. And wait, but that's you see. You know, I can't even imagine song. them ever having a fight. Oh my goodness! Don't you know you're my hero? <laughs> you're everything I'm supposed to be. That's like. Oh, I thought that was Kenny Drebbel for a second there. That's like Pusha. I can never imagine them really having a fight either. Oh, yeah. There's certain couples that are just like yeah. perfectly good for okay, each other. That's enough of that because this is not a karaoke <laughs> channel and it's not a music channel either. <laughs> this is a we'll take it channel, though. It. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, Joe's like, I would it like would to be a introduce to you the one and the only <laughs> <Why does it? laughs> Don't Turn Around Scary Stories, baby. Guys, who am I? Don't turn around. Scary stories. Thank you for being here tonight. Who is that little? Wes is going to hit the head. Have close to 300 or the bed. <laughs> You've been doing this since hit the head, then hit the bed. <laughs> After be he's done bouncing so his head off the wall. Of time, you have already a mask over 50 and a half million views. But besides all that, let me ask you this. Night, Wes, man. It's Don't always a pleasure around, having you here, man. How did you come up with and the name? You should come on the show more often. Instead of like lurking in the well, chat like that. I looked out it's always there awesome when you pop in and visual. Goes, you had people like Mr. Nightmare. Love having you on the Mr. show. Mr. This and Mr. That. Miss Kess, do you know so who that little to, avatar to I have also. is? So I thought about it and, well, what's something that's scary? Little yeah, big especially head. if you're on your own, alone, watching videos. When you get creeped out, you, you're always thinking that someone's watching over your shoulder. So that's how the name originated. Where the hell are you? Back Very in interesting. Bottom like left. You know something? I it's never a really little thought big about head, yes. You know, a saying or a motto. So kudos to you. I can't. I can't. I can't now, see you. As far Cause as I'm behind these big guys. It just came to me one night when I was laying in bed. 
you know, because we figure that we're woke. On the left part. Um, and to me, a person that's not woke is a zombie, so we I are am not sure also which one is my oh, avatar. Yeah. Are zombies. We are this little you avatar. Know You're, uh, so that's how that we came up video with game guy um, this question, from please. the 80s. Uh, how did you Yeah, I think this one. Girl. Uh, my love for horror. Uh, I don't see your name, uh, Pia, but it, you are... My uh, name was there a second ago. How far we dared to go in. That was that was a big part of it, and I've been making. You're the dude from young. Rick and Morty, the husband. You know something? Oh, dad was Dan. Was or Dan mine, was uh, my my avatar is wearing like a green outfit. To Looks kind of like astronaut, I think. Your sister? Wow. Yeah, you're uh, uh, that chick anymore. from the I'm 80s. Sure uh, meta, meta. <laughs> meta. <laughs> what the heck was that? I know I would have. I know I would have. And as far as making. No, I think it's a male character, not female. You know, young too. Mysterio, I think she did too. If we would have been neighbors, oh, we could have made some awesome movies. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. What are you guys doing well, over there? We surely together, are passing the love of horror to our children <laughs> as well. So uh, I can identify with your father with that. That's right, Papa. Don't turn around. Thanks. You really did us all a favor. Mm -hmm. But now let me ask you this: If I Evil may, what was like, your first scary movie? Is mine there? Uh... The, uh, I don't the see it. I, I don't. I only see uh, to go into a park and get killed off one by one. In a lot of the names aren't methods. showing up because I that think the they disappears when you don't say anything Holy in the chat. Crap. Oh, that is kind of sick. Something. Well, you know, if you still have a copy of that movie, we'd love to see it. As a matter of fact, we'd love to show it if you give us permission. That is. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next question. What are some of your all-time favorite horror movies? Uh, some of my favorite horror movies. Uh, the original Halloween, Jaws, and the original Nightmare on Elm Street, just to name a few. Those are all classic movies, 70s yes. and 80s horror, baby, all day, every day. Absolutely, nothing like the classics, baby. Man, what the heck is that? So you how see, the avatar is it? saying what you say in the well, chat. I've been making movies for a and while. then yeah. the name pops up. Hunting creeps for a long time. Too. Yeah, yeah, this is what, what's There's happening. Yeah, see, my name is above a character wearing uh, like red and green kind of outfit. Like I yeah, I, I know that character, I just I can't think of her name right now. It's it's actually a well, female. I can't see. Really? I thought it I thought it was a guy. It is so familiar. Every, I have everybody, seen it okay. before. Everybody thought that character was That's a guy dark. in the game until they I finally took the helmet to off one and one uh, interview on. with one Maybe of the game people and the yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. It looks familiar. I think I have seen it before, but not sure which Oh, when I say the name you'll know. Okay. Nancy James. Which game? I'm going to get you. You're going to get you. Ever met or spoke with a famous celebrity? Uh, celebrities. To find it. Uh, let me think. Uh, well, no, Zach I don't think it's Metal Gear Solid. Metal cool. Gear Solid, Solid isn't so that old. Reed in real life. No, it's wow, not Metal Gear. Wow, so you really actually met Let's Reed. Game. You know, he's been on our show once before. Yeah, I think cool it's related guy, to like uh, space. Love Let's Reed. Right. Yeah, yeah he's, uh, judging uh, he's by the outfit. When it comes to yeah, this field of YouTube. Royalty, I guess. Hey, let me ask you this. Mm. Is this what you do for a living? Well, I, uh, I hunt bad I guys for a living it. and tell stories about them on my channel. You may notice that all of my stories are originals. That's because they're all stories I've either investigated during my time at the Bureau or before. Or they're classified. I don't get my stories from the internet or from writers. See, what you find on Don't Turn Around, you won't find anywhere else. Unless, of course, someone stole it from me, or if they're doing it with my permission. I didn't expect that when we were starting this interview, or when we were learning about you, but I guess thank you for sharing that, because not many people would admit to such a thing. It's pretty cool that you're able to share those stories. I'm surprised that um they haven't gotten to you, <laughs> because you've been divulging some of these, as you say, classified stories. Or that it's legal for you to do so, but I guess if you change names and places, maybe that's not so bad, right? Mm hmm I agree. It might not be. What are some reactions you get from people after they find out what you do? I've had a lot of people walk the other way just because they don't want to come anywhere near me because of Nancy James. And a lot of people recognize me because, well, I 
kind of stand out because I have one leg. Who is this guy? I get a lot of respect from the police. And those on the right side of the law. And those who would like to skate on the dark side. Well, they have a reason to fear me. Wow. <laughs> That's deep. I'm going to be honest with you. When I first found out about what it is exactly that you do, I was very impressed. You know? And... Swedish mom's it's a like great FBI. service that you're doing, hunting down Yo, all sorts of creeps like, and weirdos sure, and the bringing popo. them to justice. And I hope that you yourself find just, find justice for yourself and, you know, catch Nancy James, really. And I'm glad that I'm on the right side because I wouldn't want to be on your wrong side, sir. Ditto to that. Yo, Joe, you, you know on. the 80s ask, game ask with the question. chick in the sure, armor hey, that's like Mega you Man? watch other horror narrators on YouTube? Probably let's read because you mentioned him, but let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. I'm friends and big fans of a lot of them. What's super cool is that each one brings something different and unique how they tell their stories. I love how being scared is the king of rain and atmosphere. Have you ever heard horror stories from the clown? But, well, he recently changed his channel name to Scary Stories, a small English channel mm. with just absolutely sensational voice. And then you hear Mr. Black Pasta, one of the most talented singer, musician, rapper, I mean everything that exists on YouTube. The talent out there is purely insane. That's great because you know something, we definitely are big supporters of horror. You know, all genres, narrators, special effects artists, it doesn't matter, photographers. Yeah, we're fans of lots of them as well. Just, yeah, you're right, there is a lot of talent here on YouTube. Ever consider having a story of yours read by another narrator. Yeah, I mean, if someone asks, I give permission. As long as they ask and they give credit back to me, then I'm all for it. You know, I'm surprised more narrators haven't actually asked. As I have these stories I've written that I've read and have close to a million views on DTA and no one's ever asked me to read. I'd imagine that they do great on other channels, but it's also possible that not many people realize that everything on Don't Turn Around is original to Don't Turn Around. Plus, a lot of people have the false idea that Don't Turn Around only does texting stories, which couldn't be further from the truth. It's just that some of our biggest viral hits have been texting stories. But we do all sorts of things. I mean, we actually started doing live action horror, and you can check out some of that in our martial arts movie we did called The Angel on our channel early on. It's a lot of fun. You know, that's really neat that you'd be willing to allow another narrator to read one of your, to tell one of your stories. Um, I'll be honest with you. This guy sounds creepy, I'm man. I'm definitely <laughs> open <laughs> if you should ever I'm need checking someone out to, you this know, narrate or co-narrate a story with right you. Now. I'm here at your beck and call. Totally. And I believe Mysterio feels the same way. Totally. No doubt. Any advice that you could give someone with the same aspirations that you have? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I still have those aspirations. It's a never-ending uphill battle, but you, you have to keep at it. YouTube is a beast. It's a fight. It's difficult and nothing, nothing comes easy. Just when you think you have it all figured out, boom, the next minute you're kicked back down. You, you really have to keep at it. You have to educate yourself constantly as much as possible on how to succeed and surround yourself with good people in a good community. You can't do this on your own. You really can't. Community does matter. The YouTube Horror Highway this sounds has been pre recorded channels that have just given up. I mean, yeah, maybe. Uh, I remember one of their interviews with the narrator called Ghosty Mist. Because it really, they did, they really pre recorded the, I mean, uh, the interview. I mean, I'm week as a YouTuber. It's like his answers sound way easy. too perfect and well like spoken. Yeah, we agree. yeah this is grind, yeah, this grind, is what happened grind, when they grind, did the interview grind, with the know, ghost team. You know, strap on your boots. All right. Straps. At first, I thought boy, uh, girl, I thought that it was like a normal interview, like they normally do. And then when I when I heard it, I was like, no, it sounds different. It is not. It's not like their usual interviews. And then they said in the chat that it is pre-recorded. Facts. Right, right, but got it, got it. That now that makes more sense. And we're I figured it out, guys. I freaking did it. Cool people, such as yourself. <coughs> and uh, your character, Aisha, is Metroid. Oh, oh okay. Ask you one more question, if I may. <laughs> that, that was a pain in the butt. <laughs> first, we're starting out. 
Because when, See, when I saw a, when I saw this um, character, yeah, I was I, like, I it looks so familiar, but I don't know which video game videos. exactly. I mean, there's a lot out there. And like that's an early 8-bit version, but the one you've got is like the later version. Yeah, this is like, an, it looks like an old video did. game from the 80s. We... Yeah. Oh, it is an '80s research. game. Yeah, we, but it was judging, a really popular we, game in the '80s. Yeah, because of the of the graphics. When I saw the Looking graphics, back, uh, I knew it was from the like '80s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was kind of like uh, Mega Man. Yeah. Also, you know, uh, Castlevania totally. games. The first um, uh, Castlevania games were from the '80s. They, they had similar uh, graphics to this one. You know what? I freaking loved Castlevania exactly. back in the day, man. Exactly. Yeah, I pretty much yeah, played said, played like not easy. all of them, and most of mm -hmm. Castlevania games. I remember right, so uh, on PS One, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I liked that one. Yeah, well, we're going up in age group. Uh, because yeah. of the success also of another Castlevania, another Castlevania that I loved so much. This one was but during a much PS2 era. It is a Castlevania Lament of Innocence. Don't turn around, lost a lot of its scare factor. Is that a new one? No, this about was about from PS2, but it's an awesome well, you know one. My favorite. You. We've seen trends like that as well oh, man. in our analytics. I remember so, also. I, love it, man. I also remember one for I was playing on PSP. Games and doing other things. So. TikTok. I didn't know that they <laughs> still had it so going, it is, man. No, I think yeah. uh, the last Mystery Castlevania that, they right. released, um, but yeah, you know, it was maybe for uh, PS3. Success in your endeavors. Oh, I'm pretty yeah. sure that you That's still no pretty recent. Bringing back I thought it ended in the 90s. But the old, but to my opinion, I prefer the I prefer the old older Castlevania, like PS, uh, the, the first one, the PS1 and PS2 Castlevania games. But then after that, they were boring. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah. The first ones are the great ones. Man. Yeah, like, the same thing with the PS1 uh, uh, Castlevania games. I still prefer, like, The Legend of Zelda, A Karna of Time on the Nintendo 64 over, like, all the new ones. I never I played, agree. Uh, I never oh, played uh, Legend of Zelda before. I heard about this game, I have seen it on YouTube, but never played it. But I'm planning. Oh my but, God. but I'm planning. Oh, but I want. I always wanted to play. It's not uh, fun. I'm gonna mute this. They're just doing their own their song. They're on a break. Yeah. What do you guys think of the watch party thing, though? Should we do this next week? Should I do the uh, stream palooza? Why not? Yeah. Why not? I think it's pretty. It's pretty fun. I haven't crashed the system, so. Yeah, that's. <laughs> That's what I was worrying about also. <laughs> but thankfully it Everybody's worked. Everybody's having a good time with it. The Watchman's like, all right, so what did we miss in the chat, man? And I was like in the zone for a sec. I was literally like trying. I was in. I was on a mission. <laughs> Freaking Metroid. <laughs> um, the whole thing sounds scripted. See, I'm not the only one, man. Like it did. That sounded like. That guy's answers were weird. Yeah. Like, this is exactly what happened when they interviewed the ghosty mist. When I heard the answers and everything, I was like, oh, it doesn't sound like their usual interviews. I knew and it was yeah. like scripted. And then and that everyone was, everyone were, were thinking the same thing until they, uh, until the zombie fight said in the chat that it's pre-recorded, not like their You know usual. what I think might happen with some of these is that they, send them a list of questions and the guy answers them and then sends it back because then he can like format his answers which is what that sounds like yeah and i've seen people do that on interviews before like uh, uh, with in, with youtube channels it's actually kind of common swedish mom is saying how old are you uh i am 43 so i was the perfect age for when nintendo was released and I jammed that shit in 1986 like it was going out of style. <laughs> I was probably I was literally the first generation that sat in the basement and didn't leave for fucking days. <laughs> I remember uh, my brother and I when we were little, we used to play Sega, Sega and uh, Atari. Yeah, Sega, man, that was like the battle. Yeah. The also, battle uh, also I remember playing lots, lots of games with my brother on PS1 and PS2. Yeah, well, Nintendo only did, like, Nintendo was, like, Disney. Yeah. And Sega was, like, HBO. 
Sega would release games that like were very adult and had blood in them. Yeah, I remember. So, like, also, I remember playing uh, Doom One not on the console on PC. Yeah, PC man, you yeah you had to play it on the PC. Yeah, Doom like, One, <laughs> lots of memories. Doom, I love yeah. that game. Like, uh, it was like mine, Stamen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you heard of a video game called the Duke Nukem? Yeah, I, the first one was uh, similar. The graphics were similar to uh, Doom. The first, uh, the first uh, two, two games of Duke Nukem, and then on PS One they made it to uh, 3D. Oh, right on. I, I got to get back into video games. I remember uh, the most memorable uh, Duke Nukem game that I played. There were two. Duke Nukem Land of Babes and Duke Nukem Time to Kill. These two were my favorite. Nice. Hey, I just want to give a quick shout out, man. Philia Noctis hey. is in the house. Hey, Philia. What is up? Welcome. We're doing a stream within a stream. It's a new thing that we've just discovered today. <laughs> or tonight. Okay, you are. guys, now it's time for me to give up. All right. All right. I feel you. You you really made it a long time. You almost made it three hours, Pia. I did? I mean, you're, you're, oh, my you're gosh. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, insane. It was fun as always. I guess. Hell, yeah. Wait, next Friday is what date? Oh, 13? shit. 16th. Yeah. I don't think I will back, be back next Friday because we are starting our trip down to Florida. We're going to drive down. All right. Oh. Going to some warm weather. Yeah, it's uh, the 13th. Oh, shit. It's another Friday the 13th already? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> That's two in less than three months. Well, it's Lucia. Think of it Holy as Lucia. Holy crap. Friday the 13th before Christmas? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, man, that means I get to play my werewolf video again in the intro. Yes, I, I just played that, I feel like. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye, Chad. Bye, Sophia. Bye, Pia. You're awesome. Thank you so much for coming on. See you. As usual. Bye. Heal up. Drink some soup before you go to bed. Get that broth in you. I'm drinking coffee. Before bed? Always. Holy crap, man. <laughs> you are a trooper. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Pixel Bye, Pia. Good night. Well, then. Holy crap, man. She's full of surprises. Coffee before bed. Honestly, when I drink I coffee, it doesn't affect me at all. Sometimes I drink coffee with milk before falling asleep. That's because you're you're already freaking cracked out, Aisha. You don't sleep anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, because in my, I, they always tell us coffee makes you awake. And then I tell them coffee doesn't affect me in any ways. Even if I am I sleepy and drink coffee, I still don't feel uh, anything. <laughs> it's like you do it. Yeah, man. it's like you just drank a glass of water. It doesn't do anything. Holy shit, man. You guys are all nuts. <laughs> Like I, I uh, yeah, I I get one cup in me, man. Like, and I I'm off the walls in the second cup. But no, I I I hate black coffee or espresso. These aren't my favorite at all. I only drink black coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't get me wrong. I love coffee with cream and uh, sugar, but uh, I do a lot of intermittent fasting, and then it'll break my fast. So I always have to drink my coffee black. Whenever I get a chance, I will suck it down with some cream and shit. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't drink like lots of teas and stuff. No, I am. Uh, I prefer coffee over uh, tea. Yeah, I don't know a lot of tea drinkers these days. It's coffee or bust. I used to drink, uh, uh, you know, like mint tea and chamomile, but then I stopped. Uh, drinking i don't know i just uh, i just not into teas i prefer uh, coffees and other uh, beverages right on i get it i get it but man you're like naturally coffee so it's all good <laughs> <laughs> let's see what she's saying swedish mom saying she is a swedish lady then pia saying good night guys swedish mom saying god nat 
Pia. That must be Swedish. Yeah. I'm going to go with Swedish. And I, I, I guarantee I just butchered that one. <laughs> uh, Pia saying, Swedish mom, you are so true. Coffee any time of the day. Swedish, or Pix Pia, Swedish. I'm not even going there. The watchman's like, dude, I could not get good coffee to save myself when I was in the States. That's just sad, man. You probably went to Starbucks. You got to go to when when you're here to get good coffee. You've got to go to the health food stores for some freaking reason. They import the best shit, but you have to get it like whole bean, like unground and grind it yourself. <laughs> like it, that's just the way to do it, man. If you get it in the bags that are already ground and all that crap, it's probably going to be shite. What do you think that means there, Aisha? Uh, what Swedish mom is saying. Swedish mom is going to leave. She's saying, no, it's time for bed. Hope to see you next week. Oh, no. The, above that one. Above? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> exact, <laughs> exact good good. <laughs> not sure. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Keep it going. <laughs> The watchman says, need to get yourself some serious baristas over there. I'm a coffee snob. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't jack with baristas, man. I, I make my own coffee. I don't, I don't, it's just, why pay $7 for a freaking cup of coffee when you can buy your coffee for like 20 bucks and it lasts for two weeks? I just don't get it. Um, are you going to bed, Swedish mom? Yeah, she's yes. saying. Uh, she's saying uh, now it's time for bed. Yes, uh, we will be on next week. It's going to be uh, the first ever. It's to all you lurkers out there too. <laughs> <laughs> the first ever stream of Palooza. Uh, we're going to go through everybody's streams that we can find and and hopefully uh, invade them, promote them, promote ourselves <laughs> yeah. by invading them and crash the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and when everything goes dark you'll know miss cast entertainment did it <laughs> with aisha at the guns <laughs> what else we got going on it's all freaking percolated man says the watchman it did my head in over here the breezes grind it and make that shite to order. Oh, well, in that case, it's all good. But where do the beans come from? <laughs> <laughs> womp, womp, womp. <laughs> Dang, coffee there is only $3.50, man. Yes, dude. So if your streams weren't at like six o'clock in the morning, I could stream your streams. <laughs> you get like double, double the fun. Wow. <laughs> or vice versa. You know what? We could do like a triple. We could just keep streaming our streams until like the internet really does crash. <laughs> that would I be stream crazy. your stream, you stream my stream while I'm streaming your stream, and you're streaming my stream while I'm streaming your stream. <laughs> And so on and so on until we hit the end of pie, <laughs> which is, I heard was infinite. So. <laughs> Who else is going to sleep? Oh, good night, Swedish mom. Bye, it's Sw super always a pleasure to see you in the chat. Bye, Swedish mom. Much, much love. Have a fantastic evening. Or for you, it's morning, like super morning. It's probably like five o'clock in the morning. Shit. You're a trooper too. You Swedish people are made of like stone and unkillable things. Like Aisha. I don't think she sleeps. I th actually, Aisha, I think you're a vampire. <laughs> I, honestly, I honestly think you're a vampire. All you do is make macabre, morbid drawings. You don't show your face because maybe you don't show up on camera. <laughs> and you never sleep. <laughs> you're always up. 
but not <gülüyor> vampires <gülüyor> but not vampires from twilight <gülüyor> Yeah, well, you eat noodles, so obviously you're like the vampires from either Twilight or uh, the Vampire Diaries, where you can eat food too. Uh, or no, the vampires on Twilight can't eat food. Do you go out in the sun? Did I lose you? I'm still, I'm still here. I'm reading the chat. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Watchman's like, yeah, maybe I sync with you for one week only. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, dude, it would be worth it. It would be freaking great. We've done crazy shit together. We can do more. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my uh, I have been thinking that my new video for my 600 subscribers, I will not only make a uh, one type of artwork i will make like uh, different uh, themed uh, artworks yeah different themed but i remember one of my videos uh, that you came to was my premiere the uh, the one that's called four uh, horror uh, artworks yes i was i caught the tail end of that one i had to go back and watch it again when I made, I was uh, bummed too. When I made, uh, when I made that one, uh, I was thinking that for my 600 subscriber uh, uh, premiere, I will create like four or five art pieces, but not all of them horror themed. I will do like different, uh, different styles. Sounds good to me, man. That's a lot of work, though. It's gonna take you a minute. The more work, the better, though. It'll be epic. I like, you know, on my channel, uh, I don't focus on only like one type of uh, theme. Yeah, sometimes I would make like horror theme and then sometimes I make like mermaids and fairies. And sometimes I do something uh, different. Like, like type. I, if I do something different, sometimes I'd make like 3D art uh, videos. I dig it. I think it's awesome. I saw the, excuse me, the new ones. Uh, one second. Later, Watchmen. Later, Joe. Okay. Always a freaking pleasure. You're the shit. Thanks for stopping by. Watch out for them ruse, man. They'll freaking get you. We got to do that, that feedback loop, though, so keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Swedish Mom is asking if you are on uh, Instagram. No, I don't have uh, Instagram. I'm on uh, Twitter and YouTube only. I can't believe you don't have Instagram. Like, all your art on Instagram would be, like, epic. Instagram dumbs down the image so you can't, like, download it. And if you try, it comes out all shitty. It only looks good when you view it yeah. on Instagram. For my uh, for my new video, I will include uh, uh, 3D text art as well. Because I haven't made one for a long time. Yeah, it's been a minute. The last, the last, like the, uh, the last text art, three D text art I made, it was the medieval one. Oh yeah, I like the uh, backgrounds that you're doing, little short backgrounds, little motion backgrounds. Yeah, you know, uh, Evil Outcast on his uh, new video, he used uh, one of the stock footage that I made. Oh, cool! The not the skull. The, there is another one. The the alley uh, alley image. Oh, right on! That's freaking great. That's freaking awesome. Super awesome. Today I was uh, of not overthinking. I was thinking a lot about uh, what art I should make and also I asked my uh, my friend also one of my subscribers she's my one of my father's family I told her I've been thinking about what type of art I should make and then she said maybe try something that you have never uh, tried uh, before do I think you would be pretty good so I don't know if you have ever watched uh, <clears throat> salad fingers 
Yeah, I he yeah, I heard about uh, this one. So it's animation and art just like that Santa thing that's going on right there. Yeah. It's in the same kind of genre of style. I think you'd be pretty cool like trying your hand at that. Yeah, I'd be like, interested to see what you come up with. It's like, uh, you know, like uh, dark uh, dark art. It's whatever you want it to be. Like it can be dark, it can be you could do it like with any of your with any of your styles, anything you're doing. It's just the the style of that animation I think is in your wheelhouse. Like, I, I really do think it's in your wheelhouse. Yeah, I agree with you. You can make it dark, and I know you probably would, which is awesome. Or you could make it, like, fantasy, like your your uh, your mermaids and your fairies. Yeah, I like... I, yeah, awesome. I enjoy these types of art also, other than horror and dark art. Basically, you just take your images and you split them into pieces, and then you move them around, like, in, like, After Effects or something. And you make this like these weird little animations. I don't know, man. I think since you're doing the video stuff now, I think it would be cool if you tried to attempt some of those. Yeah, things. I use uh, when I edit my videos, uh, I use um, movie make a movie maker. Really? Yeah, I don't have uh, other editing software. Oh, shit, man. I thought you had the um, Adobe Suite. No, I wish I had that one. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have Movie Maker only. Wow, that's good job with such a light program. I mean, that's pretty commendable. Yeah, because no, all, what, I don't do a lot, lots of editing. All I do is when, after I finish recording my uh, the uh, the video, I move them to a one folder, and then I uh, upload them in, in Movie Maker. And then when I select all the clips. Mute them and then speed them up. And then what I do, I use the image of the art piece that I made. I add it for the intro, and then I add it for the outro as well for the for the end cards. That's all I do. And then I finally I add uh, the background uh, tracks. Man, that's freaking awesome. Yeah, that's why I, I like I seriously. Feel like, yeah, because. Yeah, this is like simple thing. Yeah, you don't have, you don't need like a fancy editing uh, software to create. Even one of the narrators, also one of the female narrators, I think her name was, I think Auntie Creeps. She said she uses also a Movie Maker. I did not realize that those. I did not realize those smaller programs had that kind of capability. I mean, like, cause Photoshop is obviously like shit. It's going on 30 years old. Yeah. And, uh, it's so intense and all of the editing software that Adobe makes is like that, you know? Yeah. Well, um, movie maker is not like that. <laughs> yeah. And also movie maker, to, movie maker. I have tried like two versions. There is the old version. But there is the slightly newer version. The version that I have is easier uh, to work with. The old version, you cannot add one more, more than one background music. Wow. The one that I have, you can add, uh, you can add the music that you like, even if it is more than one, and you can also cut part of the track if you want. It's pretty cool, man. Also like, another I mean, yeah so another software that I uh, used before way back in the college uh, I don't know if you know about it it's called Audacity Yeah I used Audacity for a minute when I first started Miscast Entertainment like um I had a hard time doing the audio with like several mics and I didn't have a mixer so I had to use Audacity to split the the feeds up through a USB cable. It was a pain in the freaking ass. I can't even describe it, but Audacity was the only damn thing that would work. Yeah, Audacity, even most uh, narrators that I know, they use uh, this software because you can record your voice and also add sure. music add music at the same time. And also what you can do, uh, the part where you talk, where you speak, you can lower the volume of the background uh, music, control the, uh, the volume. Right, right. It's like a it's like a mixer. Yeah, I use this a one. A digital mixer. Yeah, on uh, in college days we had uh, a project. We used uh, Audacity, and it is easy easy to work with. 
Yeah, and it's free. <laughs> yeah, it's free and e really easy to work with. Sure. I used it uh, back in the day. I mean, again, I switch. I've, I've been using Adobe forever, so I just switched to that. But um, there, it just amazes me how many free. There's a, a 3D editing software out there. I forget the name offhand, but uh, oh, Blender. Yeah, I've heard um, about uh, Blender before. It's freaking amazing, man! It's unbelievable, and it's free. It's 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 like right up there with Maya. Not. I mean, you can get stuff that looks like it was made in Maya out of it, but obviously it's not as complex. But, you know, same shit, same same level of stuff. You know, you can get stuff done. It's really cool. Yeah, I've heard about uh, Blender, but never uh, tried it before. I did a couple of, uh, well, I didn't. My uh, I was working with a director that did a, a bunch of storyboards with, blender so that we could see the 3d action of the shots that we needed to do and uh it was pretty freaking awesome man <laughs> well i think uh, I with, maybe i think with blender i will be able to make uh, 3d 3d text yeah you can make 3d anything you, three you could you literally have made those jars in your video yeah Yes, With because some eyeballs and yeah, because in Deviant Art, some stock images are three D rendered, not like uh, uh, not like the the normal uh, real images. Yeah, but not only that, but you can make the lights and the wall and all that stuff, and you can animate the camera so it flies around the room, and you can go around the jars, and it's crazy. Yeah, I will, then I will I will try it uh, someday. It looks uh, I think it looks interesting. Yeah, it's free. Why not? You know, <laughs> it's super cool. Also, the Photoshop that I use right now, it's not the latest uh, version. It's slightly uh, older. Oh, I got you. But I got you. but I will uh, but I, so someday I will download the the latest version of uh, Photoshop. Which one are you using right now? Right now, I can't remember the the version, but it's but it's yeah, not. I'm gonna look at it real quick. But it's, yeah, but it's not the the latest uh, Photoshop uh, version. Well, I'm gonna see if I can tell. Well, it's definitely. Uh... It's definitely above C C uh, C six. So yeah, I think uh, this is yeah, version. I think it's this. Probably like at least two thousand sixteen and up. Yeah, I think this is the version that uh, I have right now. Like the layout is is very similar to the one I'm using. So yeah. Also, another thing, uh, I always. Uh, Thinking about uh, getting, you know, these types of uh, graphic pins. The one, it's like mouse, but with but pin with the pad. Yes. This one. This will make uh, uh, Photoshop way easier. That. With the Wacom pen. Yeah, this one. If I have this one, it will make Photoshop uh, like. Hundred times uh, easier uh, to cut uh, to use. I uh, so I still like the mouse, but I like shading with the Wacom tablet. Yeah, the tablet will oh. make it easier when you, uh, and especially if you want to cut out the the images that you want, because mouse. Yeah, it's... yeah, because mouse can get a little uh, tricky sometimes. Oh yeah, man, it's a pain in the butt. Yeah, man. it's especially. Like... Especially if you are cutting uh, an image. Yeah. Because some, um, the, you know, the... yeah, because you know, some um, model or uh, animals images, they have like messy uh, background. So it is kind of hard to cut out the photo of the model. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> like, yeah. So there are Wacom tablets that actually have a screen in them. Yeah, I, so yeah, I have seen can... these also. They're so cool. You can just literally draw right on it, you know. Also, like when yeah, Photoshop also when you pen. yeah, also when you cut when you, I want to cut the image of the of model or anything, it's gonna be more accurate, more precise, and much easier. Yes, for sure. 
Oh, evil bitch took off. What'd she say? Uh, the avatars and some of them can fart now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Most excellent. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get going, Miss Cass and Aisha. See you two later. Great show. Thank you, evil bitch. Always a pleasure to have you here. We love you. We love everybody that comes here. Speaking of that, I think I'm going to cut out too. It's been three hours and eight minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, it's so much fun to have you on, Aisha. I love freaking talking to you, and I'm glad that we got to talk about some tech stuff at the end because that's my shit. <laughs> yeah, I had so much fun too. We could literally talk about the tech shit for another three hours. <laughs> I shit you not. Okay. Um, get some damn sleep. What is it? Six o'clock in the morning there? No, <laughs> it's it's eight a.m. now. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit. You're a trooper, man. <laughs> always fun. Right. Always well, fun coming to your stream. Yes, I love it, man. I'm so glad that you stop by every week now, too. I think everybody's going to start getting used to you. I'm going to have to put your little spinning avatar up there now. Yeah, I remember that the spinning avatar, the medallion, it looks uh, amazing. Yeah, I'm going to put it back up next week for, for uh, Stream of Palooza. Yeah, <laughs> that will be awesome. Right on. I'll put some snow around it too, though, so it's all like, uh, like holiday-ish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. You have yourself a great morning. Okay. Get yourself a cup of Joe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. I'll see you next week. All right. Bye, bye, William. Much love. Later, everybody else. Peace out. Much love to the chat. You guys are freaking epic, and we will see you on the flip side. Peace. Bye.